Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Time. We miss you so much. I miss you guys. Ah! Oh man, it's been it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Steam Deck up uh, Steam Deck Stream Deck updated and the icons changed. What the heck? Oh, it's gone so long. Even my streaming equipment changed. Jesus. Thank you guys so much for all the gift PPs. I'll try to I'll try to get to those in a in a little bit here. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I have I have some stuff to talk about. I wonder I wonder if I should organize this a little bit. Why is that alert still there? I tried to disable the duck the duck alerts. Oh, because I forgot to hit the save button. I forgot to hit the save button. Okay, there we go. No more duck alerts. No more duck alerts! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I, I realized... I realized afterwards... Over the course of the week! Over the course of my... Vacation! That my alerts... I can just... I can just make those... Their own type of alert... And I can put them on like... Super chatting... Screens... And then I don't have to worry about... Enabling and disabling them... I miss the ducks... Well... Frick you! The ducks are gone! Yeah... So... Anyways... Pippa left the house. I did. I did. Oh, man. Oh, man. I wonder if I should talk about how... How it went first? Or... Not... not this. Hold on. <laughs> Fucking... Mr. Beast Kick? <laughs> Hold on. Talking about dentist visit. They're talking about talking about one week hiatus. Here we go. So, so, Mr. Beast Kid, thanks for the gift. Well, I didn't give it to you, but you're welcome. <laughs> I know you didn't mean that for me. <laughs> Oh my god! Do I sound different? I feel like I sound different. Could it be? Could it be because I'm missing another tooth? Could it be? I think. Am I? I, I think I'm missing as many teeth as Asmongold now. Right? Is he missing three? He. I think he's missing his on on the the right side of his mouth though. So like the way that he he sits. Or did he did he ever get those replaced? I think maybe he got maybe he got those replaced by now. I don't know. But um, he's missing them on like the the side of his. Whereas I'm so blessed as to be missing the front teeth. Oh baby, I'm missing. <laughs> I, look, I look like a fucking goblin. <laughs> Cheap to get a to get another partial because I got a partial um for my for my first two missing teeth. I'm missing I'm missing, but I don't, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I haven't I haven't seen it since I moved, but it's okay because I don't leave the house <laughs> and I don't talk to people, so it's like well, you know nobody nobody will ever know that I'm missing teeth because I don't fucking say anything, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need the partial. It's fine. The partial would be like a couple hundred dollars. Have you guys? Have you guys? Did you guys know how expensive teeth are? You guys know how expensive teeth shit is. I remember when I was younger, my parents, Papa Kid in particular, would be like, "You better brush your teeth, Pippa. You don't want to end up like your uncle." I'm like, "Bro, no." I'm not gonna live that long, it's fine. <laughs> so I just never brushed my teeth when I was younger. I never do it. I never do it. Never. And then... 
But I didn't drink as much soda when I was younger. But then my knee tears. Come high school. A little bit of middle school. I, um... I, like, aggressively drink soda. It's like... I'm trying to think of how much soda I drank. I drank so much soda. And the way I drank it... If you're all like, taste stuff, this is gonna make you uncomfortable. But the way that I drank it... Was like, I would, I would open the can to where it lit out a little hiss. Right? It made a little hiss noise. But it didn't make that noise. I didn't open it all the way, I only opened like the top. And then I would like, either like squeeze it or like suck on it off the can. So that way flies didn't get inside. Cause we had a fly problem. So, <laughs> so it ended up pressure washing a hole in my front teeth. <laughs> Because all I drank, too, was Mountain Dew, which I guess is, like, the absolute worst. I'd be sitting there, I'm drinking my Mountain Dew, power washing my teeth with it. Until it made a big old black hole. Yeah. You certainly are one of a kind. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, there's lots of people like this. You guys just don't know because they don't often use the internet. <laughs> oh god. It's Coca-Cola and Pepsi with me? Oh man. Coca-Cola and Pepsi. How do you do both? How, how do you do both Coca-Cola and Pepsi? Who's like, oh, Coke or Pepsi? You know what? I like both. Give me either. I have no preference. Give me both. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're supposed to be like, oh, Pepsi, what the fuck? Fine, I guess if you don't have Coke, I guess I'll take Pepsi. You're insane. You're a sick fuck. Don't forget, generic cola! Do you mean, do you mean Shasta Cola? I drank so much Shasta Cola because Mama Kin didn't want to keep buying Mountain Dew because that shit is expensive. Mountain Dew's goddamn expensive! So we go to the dollar store and we get a two liter of Shasta Cola for gas. That shit wasn't the best. But you had to dirty a cup to use it. And that was not... That was not the best. So I would use, like, the same cup. I would use, like, the same plastic cup. Keep filling it with Shasta Cola over and over. But only because I had already ran out of the other cups and was hoarding them. I'd be hoarding plastic cups in my bedroom and I'd keep stacking them and they'd be like... Slightly overfilling because there'd be like a little bit of flat Shasta Cola that I hadn't walked over to the sink to, to dump out or anything. So I just keep stacking the plastic cups and they're kind of like overflowing a little bit. You lift them up, they're kind of like congealed. There's like, there's like little black mold spots. Not black mold, but that's like, like congealed like that little spots. It's the reserves. Yeah, it's reserves. And uh, ants? I didn't really have an ant problem. That's like a recent thing. <sniffs> oh, man. Oh, man. So then I just started using the same cup over and over. And I would, like, unstack the cups. And I'd take, like, the... I'd take the plastic cups out of the other plastic cups. And I'm setting them down on, like, my... My fucking month... Month-old, uh, uh, like, glass plates, right? I'm setting them down on plates that I'd eaten food off of previously. So that way... Because I'm a little bit responsible, so that way I'm not getting the soda reserves on the table and shit, because that's a nightmare to deal with. I put that on the plates. And I dump, I dump my, my fresh Shasta Cola from the night before, or two nights before, I'm dumping that into the other cups. So I got all these big cups full of various weak differences of, of like, here's, here's like, a mouthful of Shasta Cola. Here's like uh, a little bit of Shasta Cola. Here's like a little bit of Shasta Cola. This one's a week old. This one's two days old. This one's from the other night. And I just keep, I just keep pouring them like a, like a fucking horrible mold concoction. I'm an alchemist of mold. And yeah, and that way, that way I always had that one cup that I could keep pouring fresh Shasta Cola into. Which, by the way, I did not have to leave my bedroom to do because I would just keep the two liter at my desk. <laughs> Stop! I couldn't! I couldn't! 
the mold cabins. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, me didn't come with me. I missed the mold cup. I miss you? Mold cup? What? I missed that. It's like me for real, for real. Hell yeah, brother. What the hell's wrong with you? Don't worry about it, Matthew. They can come big pee pee. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, so, um... I had a lot of cups. The worst thing was when you spilled one. When you spilled a cup... That has, like, those varying degrees. It's like, you know, you know the science experiments you did in school where you would mix, like, oil and water and you'd be like, Whoa! They don't mix. That's the same thing with, like... Varying aged soda that has been poured into a plastic cup. <laughs> like, it starts to obtain its own, um... Level of congealed state, right? It's like... You keep, you keep pouring them! <laughs> and, and, and it's kind of, it's kind of its own... How, uh, density? I guess? So, when you knock one over... First of all, it smells fucking awful. I don't know why it smells so bad, because it doesn't smell so bad when it's just sitting in the cup. Maybe because it congeals over the top, so that way you're not like... That, like, the odor doesn't escape. But when you, when you knock it over, holy shit, it smells bad. It returns the syrup. Yeah, it returns the syrup. <laughs> From it. <laughs> Vapor lock. Yeah, so... So you spill that, and you have like varying degrees of thick soda. Thick, th syrupy soda. All over your goddamn desk. Your fucking stack of plates has become an impromptu fountain. It's beautiful. Most people have to pay for fountains, but I just knock over a cup. It's great. It's not great. It's not great. And then you're, you're basically... Okay. From there, there's like two things you can do, right? <laughs> I like how this is talking about... Uh, I'm, talking, I'm talking about mold stories instead of teeth shit. But you know what? I, I think it kind of... I think it kind of explains how I got to where I got to. This is just context. This is backstory. So... <laughs> so there was two things you could do from there. The first thing... Is if there was a towel, right? So if I had taken a shower recently enough that there was like a towel towards the top of the piles, I could like take the towel and I could just throw that down and kind of like soak up, like you just throw it over like the mountain of dishes and shit and just kind of like press it down on it, soaking it up. You don't need to do a great job. Make sure, make sure it hasn't steeped into the carpet too much. <laughs> and um, yeah, the other option is you actually have to take the dishes out. And if family is home, then it's kind of like, Oh, time for the walk of shame where I have to explain, Yeah, I'm carrying seven plates that I've been hoarding, and yes, they are filled to the brim with soda. Don't talk to me! I need to get these to the sink! They're spilling, they're dripping, please don't talk to me! I know, I know I shouldn't have had this many plates in my room! This isn't even half of them! I'm sorry! Okay, don't worry about it. We can talk about this later! I have to get the dishes to the sink! Meanwhile, I'm leaving... ...a massive fucking trail of, like, soda drippage that I'm gonna have to go back... ...and clean up. But that's okay, because I've already left my room, which means I have access to the linen closet, and I can take the towels out, and I can... I can... I can clean that up. It'll be fine. <laughs> bleach it! Bleach it! I'm not gonna bleach your dishes, what the hell? And where the ants will clean them up? Yeah, it just keeps going and going. <laughs> That's life. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> Girl, you live like this. Not anymore! Not anymore. No, no, no. I've gotten a lot better. Like, right now, I only have one, two, three, four. I have four cans in here. A, bo a plastic bottle of tea? A bottle of Tabasco? ...and an unopened can of Coca-Cola. And then I have... I have... ...today's harvest, which is... ...an adorable mason jar... ...cup... ...of coffee. And... ...a tumbler... ...of water. Because I'm responsible. And I'm drinking water. Something molding? Just my nose. My allergies. My allergies are so bad. Why don't I believe you, Pippa? You should believe me. I've, I've made a lot of progress on my life. It's been a slow crawl. It's been a slow crawl. But I feel like... 
Listen, listen. Those of you who have lived the way that I have understand, right? You understand that improvement is a very... It, it, you're like rewiring your fucking brain. I guess it goes with anything, right? When you're changing your habits. Quitting habits is really hard. And for some people, habits are smoking or drinking or soda or whatever. But when your habit is just generally not caring about being alive... There's a lot of aspects to that. There's a lot of shit you gotta work on. <laughs> You're not like, oh, let me set my schedule so I can have my daily allotment of Coca-Cola. No, it's, oh, I made a schedule for things I have to do. And the things I have to do are living in a way where I care about the fact that I'm alive. Which, uh, newsflash, that's a lot of shit you have to do. That's a lot of fucking shit, man. You set your schedule and you get paralysis immediately because you're looking at it and it's not like a normal to-do list of chores, right? Because not only is it the normal to-do list of chores, but also there's a whole bunch of other shit. There's like, there's like, there's like 20 more things. It's like, okay, I have to shower. I have to brush my teeth at least once a day. And people are like, no, you have to brush your teeth twice a day. And it's like, I'm going to start with brushing my teeth once a day. <laughs> And they're like, and you have to floss! And it's like, I'm gonna start with brushing my teeth once a day. <laughs> they're like, no! Also, you have to rinse your mouth after every meal! And it's like, I'm gonna start by brushing my teeth once a day. <laughs> and that's just teeth. That's just teeth. And that's not even everything with teeth. That's not even everything. You're going from zero to 100% more effort. Exactly, exactly. So with teeth, just with teeth, it's like... Okay, so I went from not brushing my teeth at all. Not, not doing anything in the bathroom at all. My body is in such a state of decay that I only needed to use the restroom like once every couple days. But let's, let's, let's make daily trips into the bathroom now. Okay, so brushing your teeth. Mouthwash. Flossing? Showering? There's other tea shit. Brushing, brushing twice a day, you can add that on top of it. There's like, like a, there's like a lot of shit that you gotta do. And then, and then you get in even more deep into it, right? You're like, okay, I should also wash my face. I should apply skincare stuff. Oh my god, learning about skincare stuff? Holy shit. That's like... That's like... Oh god. Oh yeah, and then brushing your hair? Gee, using an electric toothbrush. I do now. See, again, Chad, I'm talking about... This is... This is... This is years ago now. This is... This is when I was like hardcore neat. Now, you know... Again, I brush my teeth every day. Every day! I use mouthwash every day! Sometimes I remember to floss. <laughs> I'm getting better! I'm getting better. I... I'm getting better. <laughs> Tea tree oil shampoo is great. I've heard... It's good for some people. And then not so good for other people. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. That's just bathroom related stuff. Then, then, you, then you figure out there's all this other shit you have to do with your life. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lot. There's a lot to being alive, man. There's so much to it. Why did they make it? Why did they make so many things you have to do? How did people in the olden times live their life? It's baffling. I guess they had like zero free time. Maybe that was for the best. Maybe that was for the best. I always kind of wonder, you know, when I when I was younger, family would say whiskey. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, family would say they would not say whiskey. They would say moonshine. But. Um, the family would be like, oh, uh, Pippa, the computer is destroying your life, Pippa. You shouldn't, you should, they died at 30, that's actually a common misconception. <clears throat> Anyways. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, the family would be like, oh. Video game addiction, Pippa. You're addicted to video games. You need to stop. You're, uh, you're uh, and then they would ridicule my parents. They'd be like, "Why do you let her play so many video games? 
Why? Why? Oh my god, she lives her entire life on that computer! And I always... I, do you guys... Those of you who also dealt with that, do you ever wonder, like... Did the computer... Destroy your life? Or... Was it just, uh... Was it just a safe haven and without it... You would have been even worse, maybe. Yes and no? I always wonder that. I always wonder... If it was my own... Irresponsibility and addictive personality... That got me so addicted to the computer... Or if it's just... That if I didn't have the computer, it just would have been something else anyways. Oh, computer led me to a rewarding career. Maybe a bit of both? It's an escape, be far worse? Too much computer? Oh, missed it. It was a literal cope for very serious problems. Why does it say I signed out of YouTube? I didn't sign out of YouTube! What the fuck, YouTube? I just signed in! Yet, yeah, all vice, but worth it? Is that my pet? Fuck. Hold on, I'm... Ah! There we go. I'm sent back into YouTube now. <laughs> so I can... Bring up a better chat box. Cause you guys are very talkative! I, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are talkative. I miss you guys. I miss talking to you guys. I was going stir crazy, Ted! I was going insane! I'm like, man. I'm like having like a period of fucking reflection. I'm like... What am I doing with my life? I'm laying there in bed. My fucking... I... I... Okay, okay. I should explain. I should explain. <clears throat> About what actually happened. <laughs> I got on such a... I got on such a derail. Uh, frozen noble thing. I'm like, both PC makes me feel safe. But I can't talk to people. Mm. Representing for those. I don't know. I would... If I would rather smell Urka's spit kombucha or neat Pippa's room. Um... Well, the kombucha's been frozen, so maybe it doesn't smell like anything anymore? Hmm. What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I... What was I... I forgot, I lost my train of thought. Now I'm thinking about Urka's spit kombucha. Jesus Christ. Um. Um. Emma, thank you for the hundred dollar idols! There's probably a message attached to that, but I can't... I... I... Um. 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 I'm getting... Okay. Okay. I'm getting distracted. Let me just explain. Let me just explain what happened. So! Over the... Over the... Over the weekend. Because that's when everything happens. Because nothing's open over the weekend. Right? Well, technically it started on... I think it started on Friday night stream? Yeah, I think it was Friday night. I've got the list. Thank you, Akapo. Um... Also, the music ended at the same time. Just to... Just to add more... Just to add more panic to my brain! Okay. Let's just... Just start this playlist over. So... Friday night... Was that the... Was that the Idiots in Cars stream? I don't remember. There was a little bit of tooth pain, right? That was like the start of it. That was the very start of... Of the tooth pain. And I was like... It's... It's fine. I probably... I, I had eaten spicy... The, the Flamin' Hot Doritos. So I was like, I probably just irritated my gum or something. I don't know. I just, I just did something. I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll go away. Yeah, I'll walk it off. Saturday. It hurts a lot more. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts a lot more. And I realize. Because I've had this pain before. Because... The reason why I'm missing, I was already missing two teeth was because they had been infected. They had they had gotten infected. One had like a, a an abscess thing on it that I kept putting off because I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just like a sore or something, and I was like, eh, it's fine, it'll be fine. And the other, the other was the worst pain of my life. Actually, I don't know if it was the worst pain of my life. It... The first infected tooth that I had, that like actually hurt... It's like this, it's like this throbbing pain. And I couldn't fall asleep. And I tried literally everything. 
I tried oil gel. I tried... I tried, um... Putting whiskey on my gums. I tried, like, everything. Eventually, I was like... I just need a shit ton of alcohol to get through this. And so that's what I did. I drank... Until I could get... Like, 30 minutes of sleep. <laughs> and then... And then went to a... An urgent care... Thing when they opened. And in an emergency... An emergency extraction... Clinic thing. I went to one of those. And it hurt so bad. That like... There's like this little... There's like this little mouth clamp thing that you put... That, do, that you put your mouth on. In order for them to like... Scan... Like do an x-ray of your teeth. You know what that is? Do you, Chad, have you done that? Have you... Have you... You... It's like... There's like a little chin rest... And sometimes there's the mirror... You have? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah... The x-ray thing, yeah. And um... And Swiss cheese teeth... No, no, no! I had done a bunch of fillings by this point. Now the problem is... Is the person who did my fillings... Was one-tenth the price of every other dentist in the goddamn area. And... To my ignorant brain, I was like, oh, fuck, that's cheap. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> now, let me tell you. You get what you pay for in life. So there's a reason why that dentist is one-tenth the price of every other dentist in the goddamn area. There's a reason for that. Now, that didn't occur to me then. That didn't occur to me then when I was still spending thousands of dollars to fill in how many fucking cavities did I had? I had like 27. I had like 27 fucking cavities. So I'm like, I just need to bang this shit out. Quick and cheap med. I cannot, I cannot be doing this. I have too many, I have too many to fill. Too many to fill. Yeah, it was kind of Swiss cheese teeth. It wasn't that bad. A lot of them were like little smaller ones just accumulated from not fucking taking care of them. Yeah. And that was after doing a bunch of work on them. Even still. Because... Even before then, a couple... A couple years before that... I had had, like, a spree of going to the dentist. Um... And I had had, like, a root canal... And a bunch of other fillings. But there's been a reoccurring trend in my life. Where every dentist I go to fucking sucks! And I started to wonder... Is it just me? Right? Like, obviously, I'm the one not taking care of my teeth. Maybe... Maybe every person's dentist visit is like this. No! No! No, it is not! The problem is... Is I got a cheap-ass dentist! And dentist in the goddamn bonies! And they don't know what the fuck they're doing! And there's a reason! Why they're out in the bodies, or why they're cheap as fuck. So, so, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I guess it does come down to being me and my terrible decisions. There was one dentist. There was one dentist that I went to that was more expensive. You know what? Let's start from the beginning. Actually, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> I told you so, moment. Let's start. Let's start. Yeah, good dentist is worth their weight in gold. Yeah. So. Let's start from the very beginning. The first dentist I ever went to. The, the very, very first dentist I ever went to as a child. Pulled out a tooth. That did not need to be pulled. And you might be thinking, Well, Peppa, you were a literal child. So they're doing that. Like, that's not the end of the world, right? Your baby teeth, they'll grow back in. Yeah, they grow back in fucking crooked! When they pull a tooth! That does not need to be pulled! They grow back in! Crooked! So. It was not just me. That they had fucked up on. And I don't know... How badly exactly they fucked up with other people. But let's just say... That they're... Not a, they're not they're not working anymore. <laughs> they got sued for malpractice and shut down. So that was my very first experience with the dentist ever. And no, I was not part of any lawsuit or anything. It was just kind of like years later learning. Oh, oh, they got shut down. Oh, huh? Yeah, I'm not surprised. 
So. <laughs> yeah, class action lawsuit for $27.43. No, no. So. Lawsuit. Shut up! Lawsuit! Lawsuit! Listen, man. I had a bone graft done. I had my tooth extracted. There's a bone graft. It's sore. It's sore when I talk still. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I know I need to speak more from like my bottom jaw now, but it's hard. Okay, anyways. So that was my first dentist trip. The second dentist trip. I don't fucking remember. I don't remember. Because when you're young, you're not really getting cavities and shit filled, right? Because your teeth are going out and getting replaced. Pretty often. So I don't, I don't, I don't remember. The next, um... Oh, I'm trying to remember the exact timeline. Was it...? Yeah, okay. So, eventually, many, many years later... Many, many years later... I, and I had, like, little dentist trips between... Between those times, like, for, um... I think, anyways. I don't remember them. You know what? Actually, I don't remember. I'm just assuming that I probably... Went in for, like, cleanings and stuff every so often. But I don't... I don't remember. I didn't really go to the doctor, either, as a kid. So, you know what? Maybe I didn't go to the dentist. <laughs> PTSD made you forget, maybe. I never really had a lot of problems with my teeth when I was when I was younger anyways, though. Probably again, because they were like coming in and out. Anyways, so. Hmm. My next really bad experience with the dentist was at a little bit of a, a fancier place. I feel like I'm missing I feel like I'm missing one before this, but I can't remember. I can't remember. It couldn't have been that bad if I can't remember. Um... Or this place. We'll... We'll call this guy... Doctor... 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 Um... Doctor Douchebag. We'll call him Doctor Douchebag. Yeah, unless you blocked it out. Yeah, I might have blocked it out. Repressed dental memory. Okay, Doctor Douchebag... Started out... As kind of a... As kind of a jolly guy. Right? And we're kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of bantering, right? It's a, it's a very light atmosphere. Oh, I remember, I, I went in for a checkup thing, like an assessment, evaluation, like right, right before Dr. Douchebag at that same clinic. And the doctor dentist guy that, like, did the evaluation was a completely different dentist. And I went back thinking it would be that same dentist, but Dr. Douchebag was there instead. So. I was not anticipating Dr. Douchebag. But Dr. Douchebag, I mean, everything was fine at first. Everything was fine at first. We're, we're kind of bantering back and forth. He's a, he's a silly guy. And then, while he's doing, while he's doing some fillings. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like... Like, I know I'm not the easiest patient, right? Like, full, full, full confession here. Like... I'm very, I'm very, like, shaky, and I reflexively, like, I, I, I'm always trying to, like, swallow the spit and stuff that's, like, pulling in the back of my mouth, right? Because it feels like, like, it feels like I'm, I'm drowning. And if I don't close my mouth, like, at least a little bit, then it's normal? Okay. Um, then, like, my mouth is so wide open that it's hard to, like, Stop the liquid from just like actually drowning me. <laughs> you know, like if I open my mouth all the way. Have you guys? Have you, do you guys also have this problem where like if your mouth is all the way open, it's like you can't, you can't, you can't breathe through your nose without it also like breathing in through your mouth a little bit. You know, <laughs> that's normal. Okay, well, so I'm dealing with that. So I'm like closing my mouth at least like a little bit to try and like prevent the the drowning sensation. And he keeps he, he starts he starts getting impatient. He's like, you gotta keep your mouth open, you gotta keep your mouth open, blah 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 blah. Right? And I can tell he's becoming increasingly agitated. It's called reflex, it's normal. And I'm trying to I'm trying to push through it. I'm not trying to be an annoying piece of shit or whatever. But I can tell he's getting agitated. 
like, he pulls out. <laughs> she just made 2.7k people open their mouth. <laughs> Skilling on beep beep beep. Um. So. Uh, he's becoming agitated. And he pulls out the little saw thing. I don't know what this tool is called. Do you guys know what this is called? It's the tool where it's like a drill, but it's like. It's like. It's like the table saw. It's like it's like it's like it's like the um um it's like a and Dremel is that what it's called? It's like a it's like a it's 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 a it's a, it's the saw of um dental tools and it like yeah, it, the pizza cutter it's the pizza cutter of dental tools and so he. He's working on my mouth. I'm starting to feel things a little bit because... I, I don't know. I don't think anybody ever gives enough anesthetic. Maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe I feel like phantom pain. Maybe that's what it is. I don't think that's what it is because sometimes, very rarely, a dentist actually does give me the proper amount of anesthetic and I don't feel anything. But... So, this motherfucker... is using the pizza cutter tool. On my teeth. And my mouth starts to feel very hot. Like, the tooth starts to feel like fucking magma is, is, is erupting from it and it's a volcano about to fucking explode. So that's painful as hell. And I start to panic a little bit. And he's like, oh! Oh, oh, you feel that? You feel that? Okay. Hold on, we'll give you another shot. So that's, that's the first thing. That's the first thing that happens. And he gives me the shot, right? And he, and he waits a little bit for that to kick in. Waits for that to kick in. Yeah, so that was slightly uncomfortable. A little bit more than slightly, yeah, but... <laughs> uh, so... After that kicks in... Now moves on... To using the little the little pizza cutter thing again, and he's using the little pizza cutter thing, and even after, even after applying the anesthetic, I feel this, and and what do I feel? But a little a little nick on my tongue, a little a little sharp pain, and I I see the dentist's eyes widen a bit. And he's like, oh, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> and he turns to his dental assistant. And he's like, it's a lot of blood, isn't it? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I'm not sitting there. I'm laying back at these people's fucking mercy. I'm laying back in this chair with these people holding these tools of torture that not even the US government would allow to be used on prisoners of war. I'm sitting there! I'm sitting there, looking up at this motherfucker! And they're like, cracking jokes about how much blood is in my mouth! Huh. 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 Yeah, so... I, uh... I, I just kinda, I just kinda wait that out. I just kinda power through. <laughs> I power through. And afterwards, there's just there's nothing, nothing, nothing really comes of it or anything. Like I usually after the dentist, see, this was like one of my one of my beginner trips to the dentist, so I didn't I didn't really know like what the average feeling is after going to the dentist. Even the more shittier dentist I've been to, I've never been like in that much pain after going. What about your tongue? How many stitches? I did not need any stitches. It wasn't actually that bad. They just made it seem like it was that bad because they were fucking assholes. There, like there was a little bit of blood. There was there was a sore on my tongue for a while, but it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Yeah, tongues are just bad bleeders. That makes sense. So I'm I'm sitting in the lobby. While my mother fills out paperwork and stuff. And I am just fucking sobbing. I am in so much pain after that. <laughs> I am... I am 
sobbing. And the, the receptionist is looking at me and she's like, are you okay? And in hindsight, that should have been a red flag. That should have been the, that should have been a fucking red flag that this was not normal. Because of the dental receptionist who saves people after dentist trips every goddamn day is looking at me with concern. Maybe that was not normal. <laughs> <gasps> ah, I would sue them. That, that's a lot of money. Suing people is a lot of money. I know it's a meme, like, oh, Americans sue everybody and blah, 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 blah. That's a lot of fucking money. So, uh... Yeah, no, no lawsuit or anything. I left a very mean review. But that was about it. <laughs> yeah, suing often costs you more than whoever you're suing. Yeah, that's more of like a spite move. And I was a child at this point. Well, like a teenager, so... Couldn't really... Couldn't really, of my own volition, go out and sue a fucking dental practice or whatever. I call malpractice? I don't, I don't think there's really malpractice. But... Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Next dentist I go to... Is like a... They call him, I guess, in the biz. Dentist in a box. These are... These are dentists that are part of like... They're like the chain restaurants of dentists. And their hiring standards are not very high. Because they're, again, they're like... They're like the Walmart of dentists. So they don't really fucking care, to be honest. They just want you in and out. Fast food dentistry, yeah, yeah. The Saul Goodman of dentists! I wouldn't go that far! Saul Goodman had soul! <laughs> so, this experience with the dentist... Is I spend... Like, two or three hours in there! Every goddamn time! And the bulk of it is not even getting cavities filled or anything. The bulk of it... Is this bitch... Keeps giving me anesthetic. Walking off. Coming back. It's been so long, the anesthetic has actually started to wear off. And it's probably partially because she's not using that much fucking anesthetic. I don't know the logistics of it. But, so, I keep having to get multiple anesthetic shots, like two or three, every single time, in the same fucking spot. So I'm not the only one. Did you also happen, have, have this happen to you, Bar? Every fucking time. And I'm, I'm going to this bitch, like, constantly. I'm, like, going, like, back-to-back -back trips, trying to get, trying to get cavities filled. And it just started becoming a thing where I would just start, I would bring my PS Vita. I'd be bringing my PS Vita and some earbuds, and I'd be like, well, this is the routine. And I'd just be, I'd be playing my fucking Vita. I've never gone to a dentist again where I had that much downtime. <laughs> I have never again gone to a dentist where they left me in the chair for so fucking long that I could be playing video games without worrying that I'd be interrupted anytime soon. <laughs> That's not good. No, no, it is not good. That's a reoccurring theme. It's not good, dentist. <laughs> so, what game did you play? Uh, I played a lot of Project Diva. Um... Hyper Dimension Neptunia U was another go-to favorite. Um... I don't remember what else. I just remember those two mostly. So... Mid! Fuck off! Um... So... She does some fillings and stuff. Funny enough, she, she's like a much better dentist compared to compared to the other guy. You know, even though I have so much downtime where I can play my fucking Vita, and I keep getting anesthetic over and over and over again. You know, at least she's not at least she's not like a douchebag. So I go to her and she ends up like I don't know if she fucking got fired or something, but she ends up going to an even, even shittier dentist. I'm talking like bad side of town dental office. And I'm like, well, she's not as bad as the other people. And I'm scared to try something new. So I'm gonna follow her to the new, to the new dental office. 
That was a mistake. That was that was that was a mistake. Uh, she got. I don't know if she was maybe demoralized, or they just didn't have as high of standards, or maybe she thought I would just keep coming back no matter what. But I again experienced the feeling of my tooth feeling like a fucking volcano. And I'm like, nope! No, I'm good. I don't want to go through that again. I don't, I don't, maybe all three could be all three. But once that happens, I'm like, nope! Nope. I'm done. And this dental office is fucking filthy, which makes me very anxious. Because I know, even though I'm not a clean person, I know medical offices are supposed to be clean. I know, it blows your goddamn mind, doesn't it, chat? Doesn't it? M places! Places where they are cutting into your skin or fucking uh, doing delicate procedures and shit. Those are supposed to be clean. Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I'm looking at this place, right? The other, the dentist in a box plate, right? Walmart dentistry. That shit was just very like stock standard, you know? Like it's clean. It's clean. The equipment is falling apart, but it's clean. This place. The walls are like a dingy, yellowy brown. The floors have not been cleaned in ages. The equipment is yellow. I didn't realize the equipment could turn yellow. Like, the light thing? The lights that they hold over your head so they can see into your tooth? That shit has, like, dust. There's, like, dead bugs in it. It's fucking yellow. It's, like, piss yellow. There's dust everywhere. They have house plants in there. But they're fake house plants. And you know, because they're fucking covered in dust. That place was nasty. That place was fucking nasty. So I'm like... Yeah, I'm not coming back there. But she did, um... Have me go get like a... She, she referred me to like a root canal... Place thing. Like a place that specialized in root canals. And that place was... Honestly... The best dentist trip of my life. I... Endo... Endodontist? Is that what they're called? And... and the endodent... Endodontist? I don't know. The worse the better. It was... It was the best experience of my life. I go in there, they give me a shot, it stings a little. But they have like some nice little thing that they rub on your gums first, and then they give you the shot. It doesn't feel as bad. And so they need a little pinch, but then like, my mouth is completely fucking numbed up. And they do the thing, and I don't feel a goddamn thing! It's over! It's over in like... 30 minutes! I didn't feel anything! It was incredible! Yeah, zero pain! Oh my god. I was like, man, I wish I could go back there. I wish I could just have them do all my dental work. But they're like a, they're like a specialist, so... Perfect timing. <laughs> oh man. It was... Idyllic. <laughs> That's most dentists, Pippa. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I was going into it. I was I was hearing from everybody. They were oh Usagi nap nap thing big pee pee. Everybody was like, this is gonna be the worst pain Pippa of any dentist trip. Getting a root canal. Oh my god, it's like the worst fucking feeling. It's so bad. It's so miserable. Blah 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 blah. I go in, didn't feel a goddamn thing. Didn't feel a goddamn thing. It was great. So next dentist. I go to a more expensive dentist. And they give me like an evaluation. And I'm like... Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, I'll do this. This is years later. This is years later. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I'll do this. I get the bill. The little, the little bill where the, 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 the payment plan thing where they tell you like how much everything is gonna cost. To be blunt, I just can't fucking afford it. <laughs> I just can't fucking afford it, man! Like, that shit! They're like, oh, yeah, 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 it's gonna cost you... Oh, I don't remember the exact fucking numbers. I don't remember the exact fucking numbers. No insurance, not that they took. Not that they fucking took! So I'm like... <sighs> oh, so it's gonna be like... This is gonna be like multiple thousands of dollars. In a very short amount of time. And that's just... That's just like the, the basic evaluation. That's like not even... 
that's not even like everything. Because they might they might like start doing the actual work and be like, oh yeah, you need another root canal or whatever. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, I can't afford that. <laughs> So I find... I find... The one-tenth the price dentist. And she's a nice lady. I like her more get shit done attitude. In hindsight, get shit done attitude is maybe not the best mindset for dental work. <laughs> she's like... She's like a fucking... I forget, I forget her actual job title. But her main job is she's actually in the military. She's like a fucking army officer or whatever. And she just does the dental thing like... On the side. <laughs> so the bulk of, of her clients are actually... I guess... People in the fucking military. <laughs> So... <laughs> she does the same mistake as the other dentist at first with not applying enough of the anesthetic. But she doesn't make the same mistake there twice. You know, I tell her, I'm like, yeah. Like, it, it, it wears off really quickly for me. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's actually me thing or if it's just like a... Sometimes it happens. I don't know. But I tell Al, and, and, and it doesn't happen again. It doesn't happen again. <laughs> Lowest bitter dentistry. That's a good word for it. So. So. Some people metabolize drugs fast. I guess maybe that's, maybe, maybe that's my situation. I don't, you drill sergeant. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. It's not funny. It's not fucking funny. So. She's doing, she's doing the dental work. And, um. You know, before then... I've never had feelings quite... So get shit done before. Right? Because for all of the issues that I had at the other dentist... I never had feelings before that left jutting out pieces that scraped against my tongue until it bled. Right? I've never had dental feelings where I could like feel like a pool of, of dental filling, like, covering the side of my- Like, I don't know how to explain this other than the fact that I can, like, feel the edges of the dental fillings on my teeth. Like... Like, there's one tooth that I have in the back, where it's like... It's like a mountain. It's like, it's like a mountain, and it, it was so sharp at first, it's kind of... It's kind of, like, worn down over time. But I feel like if I put enough pressure with my tongue on the little lip of it, that that shit will just pop off. So. That can be adjusted, Pippa? She did adjust one of them. One of them was so fucked up that I was like, yeah, this, this, this hurts. This, it's been like a week. And this is like, this is like really bad. And she adjusted it. And the way that she adju uh, uh, adjusted it was like taking the little pizza cutter tool to my tooth. And now I have like a little, a nice little V shape. A nice little V shape in one of my teeth that I can feel where I can, I can tell that she took the little pizza cutter to it. And I was like, after that, no, I don't, I don't know if I want you making any more adjustments. I think it's fine. It, 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 it's fine. This will be fine. A V shape. Like... Into like a solid tooth, not like a vampire tooth. The opposite effect. I'm talking negative space. I'm talking. This is one of the teeth that you use to like actually chew with, and it's got a nice little V shape in it because she tried to course correct the fucking filling. Yeah. So. <laughs> I. Yeah. Molars. Is that what they're called? Molars. I don't know. That's how your molars are supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, right? Because molars have like a distinct shape to them. And all I can really tell you is this this tooth is not supposed to be shaped like this. 
It's it's not supposed to be shaped like this. Uh, that's the only way I know how to describe it. So. <laughs> so. I had a shit ton of fillings in them. Just an absolute shit ton of fillings. It was a lot cheaper. It was so much cheaper. How you doing? I'm doing pretty all right, Zem. Thank you for becoming a big peepee. -pee. You could pass for a Brit. I I think I passed for redneck. I, I think I think we're going steps beyond British. So <clears throat> she fixed you. She fixed you real good. Yep. Stop going to the bargain dentist. Yeah. Yeah. This is what that happens when you live on candy and soda. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think I'd ever get to this point, man. Oh, Donald Trump. Thank you for the twenty Mexicans. Happy seeing you back. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Anime thighs for thinking on baby. Happy to see you back too, but thank you, thank you. Um. So after that, right, a year goes by. A year goes by. And some of the fillings have like and I've been brushing every day. For like multiple years at that point. Right? This is not like I wasn't taking care of my teeth at all. I still drank quite a bit of soda and ate quite a bit of candy. Not as bad as in my youth. But I had been... I had been brushing. But even still, I noticed... Hey, some of these fillings are developing, like... Discolored lines around the filling. I don't think that's normal. I don't... I don't think that's normal. I'll go to the dentist eventually! I'll go to the dentist eventually! That's that! I'll, I'll go eventually! I just gotta find the dentist! So I'm kind of like... I'm kind of taking my time with it. It's not that I'm not working towards it at all. It's just I'm kind of taking my time with it. Because I didn't realize... How bad that is. Well... Well, Friday of two weeks ago, I find out how bad that is. <laughs> I have any of you have any of you had that? Have any of you had a filling? And a year later, it's discolored around the edges. Like perhaps they didn't fill it all the way, or perhaps it just no. Yes, okay. Some of you, some of you understand. That's not good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I hope that if you have if you have something like that, this is yeah. You know, I think you should learn from me. I think this is a good uh, uh, a good call to action. You should go to the dentist, <laughs> and you should not go to the dentist that did those fillings. You should go to a different dentist, <laughs> and you're gonna end up in a little bit of debt probably. But I'm gonna tell you. Don't go to cheap dentists. Learn from my experience. Learn from my experience here. Okay? You don't want to go to the cheap dentists. Because you're just gonna keep going back to them. Because they do such a half-assed job. It's just not worth it. And there are dentists out there that can do a good job. You just have to find them. And not cheap out when you find them. Yeah, she learned. I, yeah, it took me a few times of falling on my face, but I learned. This was character development. Yeah. Ah, so. Suffering builds character. <laughs> Suffering builds character. Dental insurance, Pippa. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, Friday night. No, two weeks ago. I start to feel it. And... I should've... I should've realized... Because I was feeling... Abnormally grumpy. And I thought it was just like stress. I thought I was just really burnt out. And I was tired of dealing with shit. And there was all... There were all like these compounding factors. And I was like... I'm probably like fatigued from con season. And... You know like... The, the temperature's changing. You know like it's really... It's summer. It's fucking hot outside. 
I was like, ah, it's probably, it's probably all just that. And I just need to be more, I just need to be more patient. Whatever, you know? Yeah, basically, I thought I just needed a day off. I thought I just needed a vacation. No, I needed dental work. <laughs> yeah, no, my tooth was infected. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the reason I was so, I was so agitated was because my body knew things that I did not, which has kind of been a reoccurring trend in my life. Where usually, before something really bad happens, I'm really fucking irritable. And that's my body... ...stressed... ...from the internal conflict going on inside of it! Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, your body does that. Yeah, your body actually does do that! <laughs> your body actually does this thing where it tells you when something's wrong. And if you listen to it... You can help it with the thing that's wrong! But I generally... I'm just like, no, it's just a skill issue. I just need to... I just need to do better. <laughs> yeah, uh, chat! Fun fact! Sometimes you don't need to just do better. Sometimes something is wrong. <laughs> yeah, go to the doctor, chat. Go to the dentist. This is... This is me asking you personally. If you haven't had a dental... Like... Check up in a while. Okay, apparently you're supposed to do cleanings two times a year. If you haven't had a cleaning two times a year, you should go do that. You should, um, you should go do that. And also, uh, general health checkups. That's another thing that you should do. Not something that I've done, not something that I've ever done in my life. Usually, usually my mindset is can I get through it? Yes, I don't need to go to the doctor. Why would I take a why would I take a general health exam thing? Blood work? What the fuck is that? Hell nah. If something's wrong, I'll feel it. Oh, I'm feeling it. It's not that bad. I don't need to go to the doctor. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should go to the doctor. <laughs> You should go to the doctor. You should get a general exam. Because even if they bullshit you with like the, the typical like, Oh, well, nothing's wrong, whatever. You know, at least... At least you took the chance in finding out. At least you can get like a general gauge for some things. <laughs> blood work? I sure hope it does. Wait, blood work? Okay, I don't know. I've never had blood work done. I probably should. I should probably like get tested. I could have fucking cancer and I'd have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Fuck around and find out. I probably have like diabetes or something with how much fucking sugar I eat. No idea. I'm gonna find out though. I'm gonna find out. Because! Because. Okay, let's continue on with the story. So Friday, right? I'm feeling very irritable. And I'm kind of feeling some pains and stuff. And I'm like, it's just, it's, I just need a break. I'm just burnt out. Saturday, I realize, oh, something's wrong. Something is wrong! And I feel... I feel that throbbing... ...in my tooth... ...that I recognize. Menopause. It's not menopause. I... I feel that throbbing in... ...in my tooth. And I'm like... It's... It's not really like... ...the pulsing... ...feeling quite yet. Of like... Oh, this is really bad. It's just kind of the... It's just kind of the throbbing pain. Like the... the it's like a humming throb. It's not like a consistent like... Wah, 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 wah feeling. It's more of like a... Wah... You know? Does that make sense? It doesn't make any sense. Those of you who know, you know. Oh. There we go. So. I get it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Kai Kora gets it. Kai Kora, okay. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you get it. Makes perfect sense. Okay. Okay. You guys get it. Why, <laughs> Luigi? If you know, you know. Anyway. So. I go to urgent care. And I'm like... Yeah, I, I, I know. I know I know what this feeling is. I, I know the tooth is infected. And the very nice doctor looks at the tooth. And he's like... Yeah, that looks like it'd be infected. <laughs> Like, yeah, there's like a massive crack there. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, it probably is. <laughs> And I and I tell him like what happened and so I was like, yeah, I started feeling it after biting into a Dorito and he's like, a burrito? I'm like, no, a Dorito. And he gives me he gives me um Oh fuck. I forget I forget I forget exactly what it is, but he gives me a 10 day supply. Which this feels like it was five years ago now. With how my brain has been feeling. But he gives me he gives me this um it's a mox clav. It's a it's it's a mox clav, and it's um. It's a it's a lot. It's antibiotics. It's antibiotics. Yeah, moxicillin clavulin clavulinate. Yeah. For some reason, press Madagascar knows. and a Manuel Castellanos. I don't know how you people remember this shit. So. Amoxicillin, you keep some just in case. Well, fun fact, you can't just get amoxicillin over the counter because I guess they use it for, uh, drugs? But, uh, fun fact, you can get it over the counter. It's called fish mox. And I was a little tempted. I was a little tempted. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't self-medicate. I don't think that's legal. I don't know if it's legal. I don't- I don't know. It's called fish mox. And don't do that. I have done that. I have done that. I, um... So one time, I went to the doctor. Many years ago, during my neathood. Um... I went to the doctor, and I had a, um... I had a UTI. Urinary tract infection. And... It was... It was pretty... It was pretty bad. And it got pretty bad. And... But it didn't get, like, that bad. But I went to the doctor for it. And... And they gave me antibiotics. And... Before... And I don't remember if this was before or after. But anyways... I think... Wait, I think this was after. I think this was after. I learned from the internet about this. I learned from the internet about this. Um... My... My family... Had... We were... We were on... Vacation. We were camping. We were camping down in Nevada. And... I had that pain, and I did... I, I can't remember... I can't remember if this was before or after. Like, the first time. I think this was after. This was after. Okay, so I knew what it was. And, yeah, you can't exactly just, like, drink cranberry juice and hope it goes away. Sometimes. Sometimes it just goes away. Sometimes it just... Sometimes it just goes away. This time, it did not just go away. Actually... Actually, it became so in excruciatingly painful. That, like, I... I could not... I could not fall asleep. I could not use the restroom. It was just... It was in so... It was so bad. It was so bad. I felt like I was gonna pass out. Still not the worst pain of my life. Not the worst pain of my life, but it was pretty bad. Um... And I'm talking to my family and I'm like, I think I need to see a doctor. And they're like... No, just drink cranberry juice. <laughs> You're not drinking enough cranberry juice. Spoiler warning! I needed more than just cranberry juice! <laughs> so... So eventually... Eventually, the pain is so unbearable... And I'm looking shit up on my phone and I'm like... Oh, I could die from this! Like... I'm... I'm getting to the point with this! Like, this is... Uh, again, according to what I'm reading... This is... Like, if I'm in that excruciating amount of pain from this... Like, you could actually die from that. And so I'm on fucking Reddit... Looking through people's... Looking through people's responses and shit. And I see this one person... And they mention this thing called Fishmox. Le 
Reddit, listen, Reddit is so good for getting answers about this shit. Because if you look at the medical forums, they're like, you have cancer, you're going to die. You should go to the doctor immediately. But generally with Reddit, there's at least one person on there that has a homemade remedy or whatever the fuck that actually fucking works. So, I'm on Reddit. And I'm looking at, I'm looking at people's advice. And mostly people are saying, drink cranberry juice. person's like, yeah, fish mocks. And so I'm like, fish mocks. And I'm looking at Amazon. And I'm like, oh. Okay, so I can get, like, next day delivery on this. If I was at home, but I'm not at home, I'm in the middle of the fucking desert! I'm in the goddamn desert! There ain't nothing here! I'm outside of Area fucking 51! There's nothing here! There's nowhere to deliver to! I'm telling my parents, I'm like, hey. I should go to the doctor. And they're like, how do you think we're going to go to the doctor out in the middle of the desert? And I'm like, I don't know, but I need a doctor. And they're like, well, Pippa, we don't have like insurance here or anything. So it's like, there's no, like, you're not, Pippa, you're not going to see a doctor. And I'm like, I really, I, I need, I need a box of <laughs> I, need, I need something. There is a, there's a bacterial infection in my body and I will fucking die. Apparently, apparently, it feels so dramatic to say, but apparently it actually is like a serious thing. So, so. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, look at stuff, walk it off. I was in so much pain at that point, I could not walk. Moving my legs even slightly was starting to like, fucking, like it was, it was immense pain. It was immense pain, just all the time. So rub some dirt in it, honey. <laughs> so, did you survive? No. <laughs> so anyways, I'm like, okay. We're not that far from Las Vegas. Or, well, not Las Vegas. It's, uh, Paradise City. Whatever. We're not that far from Paradise City. There's a fish store there. Can we make a stop? Can we make a stop in Paradise City? At the fish store? For fish medicine? For my infection? And they're like, they're giving me an attitude about it! They're like, fine! Fine! Gonna have to cut our camping a day early, but if you really need the medicine... And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know you don't know how much pain I'm in right now. But... I'm in a lot of fucking pain. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you! I'm telling you! I don't care about cutting your vacation short by a day here. I do not care. I do not fucking care. I am in too much pain! Normally, normally, I'm not that person, okay? Normally, I'm not that person. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll get over it. I'll suck it up. It's not that bad, or, well, it is that bad, but I'll suck it up because I don't want to rain on other people's parade. But I knew something was wrong here. <laughs> I knew something was very, very wrong here. Yeah, sure, we'll just do what you want! <laughs> so... I get my fish medicine. <laughs> and I take my fish medicine and eventually... It does... It does go away. Um... I don't... I didn't know, like, how much exactly I was supposed to take and stuff. I just... I just kinda... You know, I just kinda wung it, swung it, you know? It was like, it, you take two to start. To kind of like shock your system or whatever, like ramen noodles in boiling water. <laughs> YOLO! I, I think I, I think I basically got it, you know? I, I'm alive. I'm alive. Um... Yeah, it's, it's fine. And then we use that same mox, fish mox for, for chickens and stuff. So, you know, it all worked out. It all worked out. It wasn't a waste. Anyways, did you go to the doctor? No. Eventually, I did go to the doctor for the same thing, and they gave me amoxicillin, and yeah. I couldn't remember if that was before or after. 
But it definitely had to be after because I remember googling what amoxicillin like was and stuff and finding out about the fish mox. I'm alive against all odds. Somehow Pippa is alive. Somehow. I keep saying not the worst pain of my life. The worst pain of my life actually had nothing to do with with teeth or infections. It was um I I don't know. I don't know exactly what it was. The doctor didn't know either. But it was this it's this pain in my leg that I still have to this day that is not the worst pain of my life anymore. It just hurts sometimes. <laughs> it just hurts sometimes. It's kind of a little RNG present that I get. If it gets too cold outside, or if I sit with my legs up for too long. Or if I sleep wrong. I just kind of wake up with it. And it's not as bad as it was. But basically, I, um... I was on that... How would you say? YouTube grind set. I was on the YouTube grind set. And I had been a neat before that, right? I had been a neat. And somehow... I had become even more of a neat. You might check out a chiropractor? I don't believe in chiropractors. I think that's pseudoscience. Um... You kind of said like my grandma now? What do you mean, Slavey? Thank you for the $5, though. Um... So I... I'm... I'm on that YouTube grind set. And I'm... I'm making... I'm making content. Aggressively. I'm on the... I'm on the content creator grind set. So it wasn't just YouTube, but anyways. Um... Yeah. Yeah, fun fact. If you think you're sedentary... You can get even more sedentary without realizing sometimes. When you're really passionate about something... When you're... When you're really dedicated about something... Sometimes... Sometimes you can spend... Even more time in a scrunched up ball, not drinking or eating, and a sedimentary, yeah, it's sedimentary. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. S sedimentary, yeah, not sedentary. Uh, sedimentary, uh, sedentary was correct. Oh, it was oh, okay. Sedentary, not sedimentary. I... Okay. So I didn't know. I didn't know. No, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Sedimentary is gone. Okay, you know what? I second guess myself very easily. Pippa turned into... No, it is center. Okay. So anyways, I feel this slight pain in my leg. During this content creator grind set. I had started experiencing my first real bout of like actual success. Not the kind of success on YouTube. Where... You'll... You'll get like a couple subscribers off of a video and you're like, Holy fuck, this video did so good. I got... I got a thousand views on it. Holy fuck, I've peaked with my life. No, this was like... I had actually made some money. I had actually made some money. And I was like... This is my... This is my dream. This is my... This is my passion. This is... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live off of content creation. I'm gonna be a content creator. In hindsight, I don't see like a hundred percent what I did wrong, or I don't like I can't I can't really look back on it and be like, wow, this is what I like, or this is what happened, or whatever. I don't know. I was just so focused on my passion. Um, well, apparently I was so passionate that I was moving even less than I had been moving before. And basically, I started feeling this pain in my leg and I was like, oh, okay, well, that's weird, but it'll, it'll, yeah, you lost sight of everything else. I guess I literally lost sight of everything else. Um... <laughs> What? I don't... I don't know. I don't know what happened to my leg. But it hurt. It hurt. And I was like, okay, I'll rest it on this bed that I paid for with my own money! My content creator money! I was so proud of myself. Sorry. Anyways. I had bought... I, I had been sleeping on 
this fucking... It was like this cushion. It was this really long cushion. It was like supposed to be a couch. Like, it's like a... It's like a... It's like a little daybed. Not daybed. It's like a little... It's like a little lounge couch thing from like the 70s. A futon? Is that what it's called? And it was like... It's like a twin-size cushion. And it's not a mattress. Fun fact. It's not... It was not a mattress. Um... But you could like lay it out. It's intended for like guests. And so... It had been... Uh... My... It, it was like a um... It was a hand-me-down from somebody at my mom's job, if I remember correctly. Like, they were giving it away because it was old. It was old and uncomfortable. But that was my bed. And I was like, I'm gonna buy my own bed. And so I bought a frame and I bought a mattress. And I was so proud of myself. With my content creator money! Anyways, sorry. Uh, that was reminiscing for a moment there. The nostalgia. I slept that one for a while. Mm. I tried, like, putting it out in, like, the sun. Like, Japanese people do, you know? I was like, I'm gonna put it out in the sun and that'll, like, bake away the bacteria and stuff. And, and make it, like, fluffy and I'll, like, hit it with a stick and stuff to get the dust out. Anyways, it did not, it did not work. That was not manageable. That was a terrible thing. I, the, the, I was miserable sleeping on that thing. But I got a bed with my content creator money! And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll rest my leg, you know, I'll, um, I don't know, maybe, like, elevating it. Um, I kind of, like, had the feeling... Again, your body tells you things sometimes. I, I kind of, like, felt like I was, like, I should be stretching it. But stretching it, like, really hurt. And I was second-guessing myself. I was like, well, stretching it, you know, if I did something to it, maybe it just needs to rest. It just needs to heal. Maybe I pulled it somehow. No, no, I should have kept stretching it. And over the course of a day... This only took like... This only took like 12 hours. This, this, this only took like 12 hours. To go from... Oh, this kind of hurts. Let me, um... Oh, let me, let me like soak it in hot water in the bathtub. Rub some dirt on it. Let me rub some dirt on my leg. Um... Let me take some... Let me take some Advil. That was not enough Advil. Let me take more Advil. Advil can I take in a day? Let me take as much Advil as I'm allowed to take. Maybe a little bit more. That couldn't hurt too bad. You know, they uh, they overestimate how much you can take on these bottles because because you're not supposed to. You know, you, you know, like people are stupid and they might like overdose. But I'll take like a little bit more. Okay, it was it was um uh it got it got so bad that I just I just literally could not stop screaming in pain. It was like this slow descent into... A, I was in so much pain, I was just screaming. And at like 2 in the morning, I I knock on Mamakin's door. And Mamakin comes out and she's like, What? And I'm like, I... Can you not hear me screaming? Like, I am in so much pain. I... Uh, something is very, very wrong. And she's like, oh, I thought you were laughing. And I'm like... Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> you thought I was laughing? At two in the morning? Non-stop? That loud? Our rooms are right next to each other. What do you mean? What do you mean? <sighs> <laughs> so, Mama Kin, she looks at me and it starts to set in. It starts to set in when she sees like the way that I'm moving, or rather, the way that I'm not moving. <laughs> How loud do you laugh? Not that loud, I would think. <laughs> she um, she's like, ah, you know what? I think something actually is really wrong. And that's when I get scared! <laughs> because when my parents... When my parents say something is wrong! That's when something is wrong! These are the people that were like, Nah, drink more cranberry juice! Would it hurt to walk? From the fucking... From the fucking UTI! Down in Vegas! 
Not down in Vegas, but down in Nevada. So when Mavakin's like, yeah, actually something seems very wrong here. That's when I start to panic. <laughs> it's not a good sign when the person who tells you to drink cranberry juice for your fucking non-stop UTI is like, oh yeah, actually, get in the car. Let's go to the emergency room right now. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, more juice. I should have just drank cranberry juice. That would have made it go away. <laughs> so. So. <laughs> we go we go to the emergency room and there was a moth on the window, which I thought was such a nice distraction cuz I'm like looking at this moth and I'm like, "Hello, my friend. Are you my spirit animal? Are you going to save me from this plane of existence?" I'm like, I of my goddamn mind! I am... I am delirious from the fucking pain! Okay? <laughs> I am going insane! <laughs> uh, Pippa, you died! <laughs> so I go... I go to the emergency room. And... They're... they're wheeling me around in a wheelchair and shit, which was so embarrassing. Like, there's just... there's just something... I don't know. I don't know if it's like the way I was raised or something. But like, walking... walking around just... even... even if it was in immense pain, would have felt so much better. Something about... something about being pushed around in a fucking wheelchair is just like the most embarrassing, shameful feeling. <laughs> So they're pushing me around in a little wheelchair. And, um... I'm, I, I, they lay me down in the bed. This got so off, to off topic from the fucking dentist trip. <laughs> but they're pushing me around in the little wheelchair. They lay me down in the little bed thing. And they're they're looking me over. They're doing like... They're, they're, uh... They give me... They don't give me the shot at first. They're like asking me. And my vision is just a blur. Like... I, I... I don't know how to describe it. Because, you know, like, when you dissociate, like, everything's kind of hazy? This was not that. This was not blinking away tears blurry. This was, like... Everything is a fucking blur. Like, I feel like I lost 50% to 75% of my fucking vision. Like... You know when you put on, like, the really blind kid's glasses? It's like... It's like that. It's... It's like... It's... It's bad. It's really fucking bad. And I'm looking at the doctor. And... The motherfucker... Is like... Glowing. Like... It's like... <laughs> it sounds so dramatic, but it was like I was looking at a fucking angel. Because the white coat... It's so, like, blurry. Like, he's, like, literally fucking glowing. Not glowing like an FBI agent or CIA agent. But, like, it's so blurry. He's, like, literally glowing in my vision. Uh, he takes, he takes my temperature and stuff. And I think I had a fever. Um. And. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Um, after that, they take me into the, like, an x-ray room thing. And the lady does the x-ray. And this is, like... I'm, I'm, I'm laying on the x-ray table, and she's, like, like, on this table, and there's, like, this x-ray machine thing. And she's, like, okay, can you lift your leg up? And I'm, like, yeah, um, sorry, give me a second. And I'm, like, slowly lifting my leg, and I'm, like, covering my mouth... Trying so hard not to scream, but I'm crying out anyways, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know I'm annoying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, as I lift my leg, so they can get, like, the fucking x-ray scans and stuff, and I, and I have to, like, keep, like, doing, like, these different poses and shit, so they can, like, scan it, and she's just, she, it's 2 a.m., she's fucking dead inside, she's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And I'm just like, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, 
So then I get put back in the wheelchair and the x-ray results and shit come back and the doctor's looking over him and he's like, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with you. And I'm like, well, something's wrong. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, well, I don't see anything. And then he leaves. And then he leaves. That's it. He's done. He's gone. The doctor is gone. And the nurse practitioner is in there with me. How old? I was an adult at this point. This was... This was... This was three years ago now? No. Four years ago? This was like four years ago now, I think. Uh, yeah, didn't care. End of a shift. <laughs> um, the nurse practitioner. God bless her soul. God bless her soul. She was... She was like... Uh, oh, she gave me the shot and stuff. She gave me the shot. That did not help at all! <laughs> it did not fucking help at all! At first. It, it took it took a while. It, it eventually helped. It eventually helped a little bit. Um... She was like... Yeah, you probably... You probably, like... Either... Either damaged a nerve... Or... It could be... Um... I forget what else... I forget what else she said it could be. Um... Eventually, I learned it could also be something called sciatica. I don't quite know what that is. But, um, yeah, she... Yeah, basically, she said the blood wasn't circulating. Um... And... And... That I really need to, like, stretch more. I still don't know what it is. I have not been back to the doctor since then. So, I have no idea. I have no idea. Actually, I can't say that. I went to the doctor once after to get depression medication, which... Did not help at all. Turned me into a fucking robot. That's another story for another day. Or maybe just later, with how the tangent juice is going. Um... She was like, yeah, you need to be stretching your leg, like, every hour. And... She recommended some stretches. She was like, get a standing desk. Uh, get like a exercise ball. Stuff... Stuff to just make sure you're not just, like, sitting normally. Which I did not take that advice. I got... I got one of those little ball things, right? I got the exercise ball. But my realm was such a mess, there was no chance in hell I could actually use it. Yeah. Yeah, she basically prescribed some exercise. And some very powerful drugs! That knocked me out for 24 hours. She gave me pain medication. That literally... Well, I guess it would've been the doctor that, that actually prescribed it. But that fucking medication, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what it was, but I took that fucking medication and that shit knocked me out for 24 hours. A full goddamn day. Fentanyl? I don't know. Opiates? I don't know. I don't remember. It was the good stuff, though. <laughs> Oxycodone. I don't... Maybe... Tramadol. Tramadol sounds familiar. I don't know if that's what it was. I don't remember if that's what it was. But basically, that shit knocked me out. <laughs> It fucking knocked me out. I was out, man. I was fucking out. I was dead for 24 hours. And then... And then I had to take it again. And I passed out again. And then I kept taking it. And I got the best sleep of my fucking life. <laughs> yeah, but all isn't that powerful. Maybe it wasn't that then. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can only imagine... What the people online around me must have thought. Because I just kind of disappeared. <laughs> I kind of just disappeared for a few fucking days. Like, it was... Holy shit. Oh, God. I forgot what the point of that story was. Oh, yeah, that was the worst pain of my life. That was... That was the worst pain of my life. And knowing it can get worse from there is horrifying. But it's kind of what I compare everything to. There's been, there's been some bad pain. But like... Why is it so quiet? What do you mean, why is it so quiet? What's quiet? What a story, Mark. Talk about the melting mouth roof. No! Okay, let's talk about that. Let's jump back to the present. Okay, so yeah, Friday. Friday! Something is wrong. Saturday, I realized something is wrong. <laughs> uh, Sunday, I go to urgent care. And this is 4th of July weekend. So nothing is fucking open. Except for like this one fucking urgent care clinic. 
And they're like, yeah, you should go to the dentist. You, you, you need to go to the dentist. Here's some, here's some amoxclav. Take this for 10 days. Go to the dentist. I'm like, okay. And, and then he's like, when was the last time you went to the doctor for like a, like a general exam? And I was like, literally never. And he's like, when's the last time you went to the doctor? And I was like, I don't know, like a few years ago, maybe? <laughs> and he's like... Go to the doctor! <laughs> you should... You should come back. You should come back. You don't have to come back here. But if you want to come back here, you can come back here. You should really get a general checkup. And I'm like, that's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. That'll be a hundred bucks. It was it was actually pretty cheap. The urgent care trip was was surprisingly cheap. Um So yeah. It's Fourth of July weekend. Nothing is open. Nothing is open. There's this one place. There's this one place I find out about. I had it recommended to me. And so I go out there to this one place that happens to be open on Monday, on 4th of July weekend. And I go in and they're like, oh yeah, you had to be here an hour ago. And I'm like, that's not what I was told. I live two hours away from here. What do you mean I had to be here an hour ago? That's not what you said. And they were like, yeah, I don't know if we can fit you in, but you can sit here and you can wait and we'll see. And I'm like, well, fuck it. I guess I'll wait. <laughs> I guess I'll fuck around and find out. <laughs> you have bad luck. I have bad luck, but it's mostly self-inflicted. It's karma for my inaction. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But I never prevent anything. And so I need a lot more than a pound of cure. <laughs> so... So I'm sitting there in the lobby. In pain. And it's not... It's not like the worst pain, right? So like a scale of 1 to 10. 10 is like the worst pain of your life. Which was the, the fucking leg thing. That was, that was like an 11. The leg thing was like an 11. Actually, the leg thing was an 11 and the, the, the previous tooth infection was like a 10. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting there waiting. This is like, this is only like a four or a five and it kind of like fluctuates. You know, this kind of fluctuates. This goes from being like a one to being like a, like a five. You know, it's it's not it's not horrible. It's pain. It's I'm I'm in pain, but it's this is this is not an eleven. So is an eight or nine suicide to remove the pain? I would have fucking killed myself to stop my leg pain. I would have cut that bitch off. I I would have if the doctor was like I can make the pain stop right now if I take your leg off. I would have been like, well, I guess I'm a cripple. Take the bitch off. <laughs> ah! Oh god. So. <laughs> so. I'm sitting here waiting. And I'm I'm waiting and they're like, "Yeah, we close at this time." And it's getting it's getting close to that time and I'm like, "Well, fuck. They're probably not going to see me." I I <sighs> It was 2 hours to get here. I've been sitting here for an hour and a half. It's fucking over. It's fucking over. But they do they do manage to 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 see me. And the pain is actually slowly getting worse. I I don't know if it was from them like tapping on it and stuff, but after that, I would say it goes from like a 5 to more like a 6 or 7. It's getting worse. And that makes me anxious. Which makes it worse. 
<laughs> We're so bad! <laughs> so... So... They're, they're giving a little checkup thing. And I'm looking around. And I'm getting kind of flashbacks to the bad side of town dentist that I went to. Because I'm looking and I see a fucking houseplant. And that kind of triggers my PTSD when I see a fucking houseplant in a dental office. Those bitches are hard to clean. And you have them in a medical area. So I'm looking at this houseplant, right? <laughs> and I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> and I'm like... It's only a little dusty. <laughs> it's, it's only a little dusty. This is, this is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna be fine. And I'm like... The way that I'm rationalizing everything in my head... Is I'm like... You know what? This'll make a great story for stream, at least! <laughs> I'm suffering! So that way, I have stream content later. Th if anything, this should be a tax write-off. This is content! <laughs> I'm, I'm panicking so much! I'm panicking so bad. When I went to the... When I went to the fucking... The urgent care the day before... They took my... They took my... My heart rate and my blood pressure. And they were like, your heart rate's 134. And I'm like... Yeah. They're like... Are you in a lot of pain right now? And I'm like... No, it's mostly just the nerves. <laughs> I'm just really scared of the dentist. Uh, I'm scared of the doctor. <laughs> so... So... <laughs> so I'm so panicky at the dentist. Anytime he touches me, I start literally shaking. Like, like I know that's like a Twitter meme, like, oh my god, literally shaking right now. No, I'm like actually shaking. And I'm trying to calm myself down because I know this is obnoxious, right? This is like an involuntary reaction. This is not like I'm I'm panicking mentally and this is and I'm I'm letting it happen. I'm like desperately in my brain. I'm like, please stop, please stop, please stop. I'm like digging my nails into my arm, trying to like have like a distraction. I'm like, if I focus on the pain in my arm right now, I won't think about anything else. And then I start getting so panicky and so delirious. I'm like, oh man, you know, if like Congress was real, it'd be very like objective and, and very calming and stuff right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm just trying anything to just stop fucking panicking. <laughs> I'm just trying anything to stop panicking. <laughs> and the dentist, he's like, are you, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, he'll, he'll touch like literally anything. And he's like, did that hurt? And I'm like, a little bit. But don't worry about the shaking. It's just... I, I don't mean for that to happen. It's... You're doing fine. Just keep going. <laughs> so he's checking my mouth and stuff. And he's like... Oh yeah, that's infected. And I'm like... Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's... That's why I'm here, actually. Because <laughs> it's infected. That's why I'm on... A mox cloud because it's infected. Yeah, thanks. I noticed. <laughs> so <laughs> he's like, okay. Yeah, well, there's your problem. <laughs> he's like, well, I can't do anything today. And I'm like, mentally, I'm kind of bitter. Mentally, I'm like, I came two hours to this place. You did not tell me that I had to be here fucking within 30 minutes or whatever of the goddamn phone call. Fuck you. You know I'm in pain. Please pull the fucking tooth out. Just pull the tooth out. But the more the more reasonable side of my brain manages to come out and I'm like, okay, I understand. And mentally, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rationalize. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm like, this guy's got a life to live. You know, it's not his fault what the receptionist did and stuff. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of mean. It's kind of mean to let me go home with an infection. But, 
He said it's not that bad though. I said it's not that bad though. It's probably my fault. If I was more annoying with these kinds of things, more shit would probably get done. But anyways, it's fine. You should have mentioned the pain. Well, it's not... It's not so excruciating as last time. So I'm like, I can get through this. I can... I can get through this. <laughs> so... So, he's like, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. we have another office that's closer to you. Uh, you can come in tomorrow. And... So I... Head to the receptionist. I'm like... Whenever she's not talking to me, I'm like, I'm like sitting down. When she's like, when she's like filling out the fucking forms and shit, I'm like sitting down on the ground holding my tooth because I I'm just I'm just I'm just not okay. I'm just not okay. On the Sunday. That was on a Sunday. Wait, no, no. Urgent care was on Sunday. The first dentist trip was on Monday, and then tooth was pulled on a Tuesday, on 4th of July. And um I think if I'm getting my timeline right, I don't know. It's all kind of a blur. So Happy Fourth. Um, he doesn't prescribe me or anything. Uh, prescribe me anything because I'm already on um, um, the Amox Cloud from the Urgent Care. And so the next day, I go to the dentist to get the tooth pulled, auction it off. I don't have the tooth. Um, Happy Fourth and Happy Third Tooth. Yeah, yeah. If only had lined up, it would have been. Losing my third tooth on the third. Ha 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 What a way to celebrate our nation. Anyways. So. So. I, um... I get the tooth pulled. And... During... During it... It was a pretty good, it was a pretty good dentist. It was a pretty... 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 Quick... Procedure and stuff. Um, he's like, yeah, your teeth are fucked up. Yeah, you should, you should really come back and get some work done. Because this is just gonna keep happening if you don't get this taken care of, like, immediately. Your fucking, your, 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 your fillings are failing on you. Um, yeah. This is, he's like, he's like looking at my fillings. He's like, wow, this is like the worst job I've ever seen. And I'm sitting there like, thanks, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> He's like, this is such a shoddy job. Where did you get this done at? And I'm like, <laughs> thanks. Thank, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Um, you know, I don't actually remember the name of the clinic, but I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> at least he's being honest. <laughs> they didn't let you keep it? I, I didn't think to ask. So. Ah. <laughs> uh. I told him, I told him, I was like, yeah, it was like a, it was like a more affordable clinic. Cause I couldn't afford like... The nice dentist. So I went to like somewhere really cheap and he was like, yeah, I can tell. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um... I get my first shot in the roof of my mouth. Ever. And, um... That was crunchy. That's a crunchy feeling. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But, when you get a shot in the roof of your mouth, you hear like this little crunch. You hear, you hear this nice little crunch sound, like you just stepped on a popcorn. A little popped popcorn. It's like... Um... What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Is it supposed to feel like that? Is it supposed to be like that? And I'm feeling it! And he's like, don't move. And I'm trying not to move. But I'm basically vibrating on the fucking table. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so fucking scared. And I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like, brave my way through it. I'm like, mentally, I'm like, what would Bismarck Azure Lane do? She would not, she would not be scared of the dentist. She would grit through the pain. I'm like, I'm like full on delusional right now, just trying to get through shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> my fully adult Oshi, yeah, if it works, it works. If it works, it works. <laughs> it, it worked. 
it a little bit. <laughs> so... Ah... <laughs> uh, Riggs! Thank you for becoming big peepee. -pee. I'm gonna call you Riggs, because I don't know how to say your full name. So... So, <laughs> she was schizo-bosing IRL. So, so, I'm... I get the shot and I feel the needle, like, poking around. He's, like, poking the needle around, kind of, like, in and out and stuff. And I'm sitting there, like, is it supposed to happen like this? Yeah, hello! Who you love? Dentists suck. Dentists do suck. Dentists suck a lot! I, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there while he's poking the fucking needle around my mouth. Actually, it is. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Because I'm feeling the crunch. And all I can think about is, why is it crunchy? Why is the roof of my mouth crunchy? This is not the same feeling as when you get a shot in your gum. When you get a shot in your gum, they put on the little... Sometimes it's bubblegum flavored. It's this little gritty paste that you'll never get out of your mouth for the next few days. No matter no matter how much they suction the little, the little grits out. There's always going to be little grits in your mouth and you'll find them like a week later. The grit sucks. Anyways. And then they, they it, it's like this little prick. This little prick feeling in your in your gum. And it hurts a little bit. It's more scary than it is painful. But this shit is crunchy! Why is it crunchy? Ah! <laughs> cartilage. Yeah, it's probably the cartilage. Roof of your mouth shots suck. Yes, they do. And so I feel this, and it kind of... I don't know how to describe it, other than it's the worst flavor I have ever... It's not, it's not like, it's not like... I'm not gonna like... Gag or whatever on this flavor. But like... It feels like I'm drinking gasoline. When the, when the, when the anesthetic... Comes out of the... Of the, of the roof of my mouth. Some of it like spills out. And it, it, it's like, it's like gasoline. It's like... It's just not good. Like, it tastes... It tastes like you're... You're eating a rotten corpse. Like, it's... Like, it... Like, it triggers that kind of reaction. You know what I mean? Um... And if it hits your tongue, your tongue gets numb. I don't... I don't know if I really noticed that. My tongue wasn't really numb. Um... I don't know if it was the anesthetic... Or if it was the blood. But... My tongue was stained for several days. Like a, like a black color. The, the side of my tongue that all that stuff happened... Like the side of my mouth that all that stuff happened on... That side of my tongue was like stained black. So... It's really emo. Yeah, definitely the blood. Probably the blood. I don't know. So... Anyways, the tooth gets extracted. And... The extraction clinic... ...that pulled my tooth... ...was not... ...was not... Was not I, I, maybe I just don't remember the pain? I feel like it just kind of happened and I didn't really notice it. But with this one, there was definitely pain while they pulled the tooth out. And I was panicking even more, because now my mind is racing. Black is amalgam. I don't know what that is. Um, you may have blurred it out. I might have. But I feel this tooth being removed. And I'm panicking. It, it's not the, the pain is only like a like a four or a five, right? It's not it's not like horrendous pain, but I'm like panicking because I'm like, oh my god, did they not apply enough anesthetic? Is this going to be a repeat? Is this going to be a repeat situation? But no, no, it was fine. There was a little bit of pain. There was a little bit, even while numb, yeah, even while numb, there was some pain, but it, it was fine. It was fine. We pulled it out. Um... And it was so... It was so sore. It was so fucking sore. Like... Again, I don't know if I just don't remember... The first... The first... Time I had teeth extracted as much. But the... The nurse lady, she was like, oh, it, it's... Sometimes it just happens when it's infected. And it's like, well, I don't remember the last time. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, it was so sore. It was so sore. Um. Trauma-induced amnesia. That sounds really dramatic. How sore? Uh, it's only like a two or three. 
I'm very bad at like picking a decisive number, but like things like fluctuate and stuff. It was like a two or three. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think. After that, they give me these pain pills. Um, that I'm still on. Still on the pain pills. Still on the antibiotics. The antibiotics make me really sleepy. I was technically supposed to take my pills before stream, but I was like, they're gonna make me sleepy. I'll, I'll wait until after stream. It's fine. This will this will be fine. Hopefully not a bad decision, but it's only like three hour difference. It'll be fine. It's fine. Anyways, so. So, tell us about the bone graft. Okay, yeah, they did the bone graft thing. I will say, they like sutured it up and stuff. And the first time I got a tooth pulled, teeth pulled, um, Extracted, not the first time from when I was a child, but this okay. The, the first time I got the extraction in the bone graft, little bits were falling out of my mouth like non stop. Like, and I was being like extra paranoid. I was like, I will not eat anything, I will not drink anything. But the little, little bits were like coming out of the bone graft like non stop. That's normal. Well, this time I didn't lose like any. I did not lose, like, any bone graft bits. Is that supposed to happen? Uh, I should probably explain. For those of you who don't know what a bone graft is, basically, they, like... Where the tooth was, they put, like, little bits of, of like, bone... stuff. I don't know what it actually is. It's like, it's like little bits of teeth, you can imagine. That, or something, some shit like that, or... It, it's something. It's, like, mixed with, like, a paste and shit. I don't know. It's... it's real bone? Okay. It's like a little... It's... It's... You can think of it as like, um... Cobblestone for your teeth. So, they put the cobblestone or the mortar. They put the mortar in your... In your... Where your tooth was. So that way... Your teeth don't like, um... <laughs> what? I don't know how to explain it. Uh... <laughs> so that way... Recycled bones from other people's mouths. Don't say that! Um... So that way the teeth don't like shift. Right? Because you now have that empty space there. Your teeth could hypothetically start like shifting and getting even more fucked up. So they put the bone graft there so your other teeth think, Oh wow, there's another tooth there. I can't... I can't... This is not free real estate. So sometimes the little bits of that... It's like... You know when you chip your tooth? It's kind of like... You know when you find like a little bit of your chipped tooth in your mouth? It's like that. Repeatedly. For the course of... Weeks. But I haven't had like any of that from this, so I think they did like a really good job. I think I think this dentist did a really good job with suturing it up. Um and I went to the dentist again, a different dentist this time. I, I looked for one. Uh, they have like they have like um really good reviews and shit and it's 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 all good. It's all good. They're good dentists, highly rated. How many stitches? I have no idea. Um, you need an implant there in four months. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't, you don't have to get an implant. You could do a partial. Which is what I did the first time, is I got a partial. I didn't even know implants were a thing. Now I know implants are a thing. I'm gonna get an implant on the other two bone grafts spots that I did. So that way I'm not missing, you know, three teeth. In the front of my fucking mouth. Always finish antibiotics, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't used to do that, but... Anyways. Anyways. So. So. I, am. Um, that's gonna hurt? Yeah, it's gonna hurt. It'll be great stream content. It'll be... It'll be great stream content. Uh, anyways. <laughs> so. Implants have the way to go? Yeah, the dentist was asking me. He was like... He was like, oh, do you... Well, do you want to try and save the tooth, or do you want to just pull it? And I'm like, just fucking pull it. And dentists always say, they're like, they're like, Oh, well, you should always try and save the tooth. Man, it's... it's it, sometimes it's just not worth it, dude. Sometimes, sometimes it's just not worth it, dude. It's, it's, it's just, just fucking pull it. Just fucking pull it, man. We're not doing this shit. Just fucking pull it. I'll get a fucking implant. Alright, listen, it's three fucking teeth. It's not the end of the world. I don't. I, I don't. I don't want to do this shit, man. I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's just beyond saving. So. So. 
It's kind of toothful. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, and then the, the new... The new dental people that I went to... They were like... You have to go back to get those sutures removed? And I was like... You know, to be honest, I have no idea. I... I don't know. Like... Oh, well, they could be dissolvable sutures. And I'm sitting there like... You know, I did not think to ask. I... I did not think to ask. The first time I got teeth removed, I... I had to go back to have the sutures removed. But... I... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll fuck around and find out. No, I should probably call them. I should probably call the other dentist. And see if they're dissolvable or not. Anyways! Anyways. Um... Uh... Tree Shore, thank you for the two dollars. Remember, you have a cadaver in your mouth forever. What? Call them, bunny. I need to. They're pretty common now, are they? Technology has advanced so much. At this new dentist, right? They cleaned my teeth. I got a teeth cleaning. Well, mostly they didn't like clean too much around where I had my tooth pulled, but that's because it was sensitive. And and they, you know, back in back in the day. Back a year ago. <laughs> the dentists that I went to, when they clean your teeth, they just scrape that shit. They just, they take one of those little dental pick thingies and they're just fucking hacking away at, 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 at between your teeth and uh, on your teeth. They're just scraping that shit off. They scrape it. And you're just sitting there like, ow, ow, ow. Because sometimes those fuckers stab you in the fucking gum with a little pick. Because they're fucking lazy. And then they have this little, they have this little floss. Not this dentist. This dentist, they very nicely flossed my teeth with normal floss. One of the other dentists that I went to, they had this, it's called like gold floss or something. It's like, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like, it's like, it's like gritty tooth floss. And... Them bitches, them bitches, fucking, they're like yanking my jaw around, sandpaper floss, whatever the fuck it is. They're like, they're like, aggressively, diamond wire, is that what it is? I don't know, they're like aggressively flossing between, between my teeth. Oh god, it was, it was horrible, it was a horrible feeling. Anyways, they're so rough with it, they're so fucking rough with it. But these dentists, they were nice and gentle, and they were like, Okay, if, um, if any, if you feel anything, if anything starts to hurt, just leave your, wave, lift your left hand, okay? And I'm like, oh, thank you, okay. Meanwhile, other dentists you go to, you fucking, you, like, cause I went to one dentist that did, like, the lift your arm trick thing, if you start to feel stuff. And I thought that was, like, normal. I thought that was normal that you can do that at other dentists. And no, apparently that's like a dentist to dentist thing. Because some dentists, if you try and do that, they're like, quit moving. And you're like, oh, okay. Okay, I won't move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in a lot of pain right now. The anesthetic has worn off and I'm trying to tell you, but all right, my bad. It hurts. Be quiet. <laughs> ah. If you go to the dentist, and they don't do the little arm trick thing. Don't trust them. Cool hand, thank you for the five dollars. You've inspired me to go to the dentist to avoid issues. I'm still terrified though. Good on you for going through though, Pip. Thank you. Shags and come to get these Nintendo thing with five thousand crocodiles. Bionic tooth fun. By the way, a lot of people come to Costa Rica to get their teeth fixed because it's cheaper. Even taking the hotel and airplane ticket into account. Jesus Christ. Okay, well I'm not going to Costa Rica to get my fucking teeth done. That's even more anxiety. Don't want to deal with being on a plane and shit. Fuck that. Each phantom thing for doors. I wonder what you would look like with some real nice implants. Still ugly. Anyways. So! And waving wildly while in the chair. Ah, uh, plane. Medical tourism. Medical tourism. Mexico dentist trip win. Never. So, they're looking at my mouth, right? And they're like giving me a little... little evaluation thing. And they can't do it all at once. They have to take like the x-rays and stuff. And then they'll... And then they'll... And tell you later, and... They can get like a general idea. Oh, James Redlinger didn't like My mom had a molar pulled last year. Then just shattered the molar with pliers and took out the larger pieces. Now one... Now I need one either filled or removed. If I can get it, it'll be gold fillings. That, you're cursed. Don't do gold fillings. Oh my god. Also, that's horrifying. Um... So the dentists are looking over my mouth. And they're like... 
what happened to the roof of your mouth? And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, it's like... It's really bad. And I'm like... Well, the skin was starting to peel off after the... after the extraction. Like, like, chunks of flesh were coming out of my mouth after the extraction, and I would look at them, and they'd be kind of bloody, and... It's kind of... You know how, like, the roof of your mouth is, like, ridged? Like, it, it's kind of bumpy? That side of my mouth is no longer like that, with how much skin has come off of it. And they're like, did you eat something really hot? And I was like, no. No, actually, I have been eating everything at room temperature. And trying not to eat anything, like, too solid. Right? Like, I'm only... I'm only eating... Mostly soup. I'm eating a lot of soup. A lot of soup. A lot of protein drinks. And, um... The Doritos! That was... that was before all this started happening. I wasn't eating Doritos after my tooth extraction. And the dentist is like... Oh! Well, you... This is... this is necrosis. You, um... You, you... you must have had an allergic reaction to the anesthetic. And I'm sitting there like... My old friend. Anesthetic. My old friend. <laughs> So, they're like, yeah, just just be really careful with that. Don't like, um, <laughs> don't eat anything. Don't eat anything like hard, right? Like, don't eat anything that might that might irritate it more. And I'm I'm sitting there like, <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, is it okay now? No, it still hurts. <laughs> Actually, the roof of my mouth hurts more than my actual... The actual extracted tooth area now. Right? The spot where my tooth was extracted... Yeah, it's kind of sore. And sometimes, like, it, there's, like, a little bit of pain. Randomly. Sometimes, you know, like, I'll bump it with my tongue or whatever. And that'll kind of, like, make it ache. But the roof of my mouth, like, any time I swallow anything, there's, like, that sore pain. Because it got fucked up. It got fucked up. And I'm just sitting there wondering. I should have asked. I should have asked. How is it that the anesthetic fucked up the roof of my mouth so bad? But not... But not, like, my gums. Is it a different anesthetic that they use for the roof of your mouth versus your gums? I don't know. I don't know. Or has maybe all of my dentist trips been so miserable because actually I'm just allergic to the fucking anesthetic. Honestly, it could go either way. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'll ask them next time. I have another appointment coming up. I... I don't know. The anesthetic that your previous dentist would dose you with multiple times per session. Yeah, yeah, that one. I don't know. It was probably the application. I don't know. They use xylocaine? For that? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, is it? Please talk to your doctor. I don't have a doctor. That's one thing, that's one thing the urgent care doctor asked me about. He was like, a walk-in clinic guy, whatever the fuck they technically classified as. He was like, who's your general practitioner? Or who's your, who's your, who's your, um, who's your doctor? And I'm like, I don't have one. Kinda just stared at me. He was like, you should probably have one of those. <laughs> you should probably you should you should go get one of those. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I really should. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I prescribed the doctor feel good. And the song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's where I'm at. I'm down three of my front teeth. They're, they're kind of like alternating, you know? So like I'm missing one. I'm missing... I think it's the canine. And then I'm missing two. No, not two. I'm missing... I'm missing the one. And then... There's two there. 
And then I'm missing a front tooth. And then there's the other front tooth. And then there's... Like, I have one front tooth. And then the one beside that is missing. So I'm kinda... I'm kinda fucking Bozo the Clown here. It'll be fine. <laughs> Amazing visual, yeah. I haven't updated my... 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 Uh... You know, I need a... I need a 2.0 to properly reflect that. But... I'm hillbilly now. I'm hillbilly now. I'm gonna get implants. <laughs> I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get implants. I'm gonna fix this. What the fuck, saying Rudler? My contribution to the implant fund. Also, necrosis sounds bad. Don't die, please. I'm not gonna die. I'm, uh... You know, chat, I'm just... I just... I just operate... I function as a... <laughs> we can fix her! You know, I exist... As a walking disaster, so that way... I can improve my life, and you guys can be like, Wow! If that walking catastrophe can improve her fucking life, maybe there's a chance for me as well! <laughs> I'm like a worst case scenario! I'm, a, I'm not worst case scenario. Again, I could have cancer. I'm jinxing it. I'm jinxing it. Hopefully, I'm, uh, <laughs> We're hopeless. You're not hopeless. If I could not brush my teeth for many years while downing soda and have a shit ton of cavities and back to back fucking dentist trips and have so many horrible experiences with dentists because I'm an idiot and then discern carefully. You know, you can. You can make the right decisions. You can. You can make the right decisions. Pippa, shut up right now! I, I, I don't have cancer! I, I, I probably don't have cancer. But if I do, this will make for a very funny highlight video. <laughs> it's all about the content. Anyways, brush your teeth, cat. You should brush your teeth. <laughs> you should brush your teeth. Twice a day. And floss. Because if you don't floss, you'll get cavities in between your teeth. And that's a whole nother issue. And the more cavities you have, the more it spreads. Uh... Riggin, Zinger with doors. It actually wasn't an acidic defense work. Testing new bone melting juice on you! Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, please floss. Yeah, you should... You should all floss. Not just a water pick. I told the dentist, I was like, I have a water pick, is that enough? And they were like, it has its uses, but no. And I'm like... But the other dentist said... And then mentally, I'm like... Well, then again, the other dentist also was a tenth the price of this dentist. So... Maybe I shouldn't take their advice. Maybe I should not. Yeah, the other dentist was kind of garbage. Water picks are useless. They're not useless. They have their uses. Just, you should also use regular floss. So the witch doctor thing, Fuddlers. Pippa, are you actually flossing with floss now? I am. Or sick. Thank you for the $10, Pippa. I'm more worried for you now than when you were on break! Please take care of yourself. These issues are serious and we care about you. It's fun to have laughs, but not if you actually die! I'll be the... I'll, uh, but then you can be like, Oh my god, my Yoshi died. I need a new Yoshi. And you have like this tragic backstory and you go to somebody else's channel and you're like, Oh, I came here because Pippa fucking died. And they're like, Oh, that's so sad. Don't worry, I'm here for you. And... Yeah, it'll be a whole character arc for you. Anyways, Astroline, thank you for the thirteen ninety nine. One of my baby teeth fused to my jaw! What the fuck? I had a partially formed adult tooth under it, and then a fully formed one under that! I had to get it surgically removed. My old dentist missed it. What the fuck? Fourth night thing, big baby. I just had to cap a cavity between my back molars today. Godspeed. I'm proud of you, Dwarf Mike. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for getting that shit taken care of. Chemtrail mixing with Pandora's Pippa. Thank you for convincing me to brush my teeth. Also, I got some great ship waifus in that lane. Hell yeah! Uh, Sergeant Norman. Then you... Uh, Norman? No, no. I can't... I can't read. I can't... Dornan? 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 Dornan. Dornan. Miss you, Pip. Hope you're feeling better soon, Pippa. Love. Thank you, thank you. Can't tell fanboy thing for Hey, Pippa. Did you see the brick I painted for you on Twitter? Also, I'm... Only been to the dentist twice. I have not seen the brick yet, but thank you. Thank you. I'll have to go take a look. 
Why is my second pimple on screen? Because I I scuffed stuff up somehow. I don't know. I don't know why there's another pimple on screen actually. <laughs> but here it's just filling it out. Yeah, it's actually a loop. I'm 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 a tiled texture. Anyways, anyways, uh, not the easiest thing to Who would you prefer we pick as our new Oshi? Hmm. You should you should keep it in in the family. Keep it in Phase Connect. You should um. I don't know. I don't know. Just print out everybody in Face Connect's faces and then throw a dart at the wall. Uh, Paul, thank you for the lawyers. I need you to not die so you can keep feeding me lines! Oh my god, Paul. Your teeth are gonna be fucked up from the cocaine. Mom, the zombie thing was like, oh, that's one thing they asked me. Not if I do cocaine, but they were like, do you smoke? And I'm like, does it look like I smoke? I didn't say that, but mentally I was thinking it. I wanted to ask it. Oh, I should also clarify. I was so tired. I went to the this dentist so early in the morning. I was like, I, I kept that. Uh, they must have thought I was like drunk or something. I kept having to ask them to like repeat stuff. And when they went to do like the little X-ray thing where you put your chin on the chin rest and you bite the little thing, I I bit the chin rest. <laughs> I bit the goddamn chin rest. <laughs> And they were like, no, 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 and I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> it was like two hours of sleep, and it was so early, I was just... Ah, yeah, my Oshi is special, your Oshi is brain damaged. Oh, the zombie thing for the Lord's hello, Pip... Oh, hey, Pip, it's my birthday. Why do I read hey as hello, and hello as hey? It's my B-Day, can I get a birthday message? Also, I already lost an Oshi. His name was Jim, Godspeed, Jimbo, I'm still hoping it's all a joke. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, bomb the zombs. And you know what, man? Life is a joke, but you'll get through it. I believe in you. I hope you have a good birthday. The fox thing for the Lord's got my wisdom teeth removed on Wednesday. They scuff the stitches and have a ball of plastic in the back of my mouth. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Go to a better dentist. Go to a, go to a better dentist. Hey, tell Joe thing for my previous dentist was arrested for murder. Okay, well, I think you win today. I think, I think you win story time today. Your dentist was arrested for murder, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, super chatless, please, please. Uh, better want to be something for dollars. My friend four teeth came in behind my baby ones. Fun. That, the, that does not sound fun. That does not sound fun, actually. Uh, Damien, he taught me, thank you for dollars. Don't do drugs, kids. True. Then I'm doodle, thank you for Thanks for another look into your cursed life. You're like every horror story for kids put together. Because I learned nothing. Oh, I'm not thinking to learn. Hey, hello, howdy, Pippa. Hello, howdy. The shark mouth. I remember... Just to, just to prove the extent of my stupidity. When I was younger, I used to... I used to get bored. And, um... In hindsight, I think this counts as self-mutilation. But I would get bored, and I'd be sitting there, and I'd, like... Use my fingernails to, like... Grind more grooves into my teeth. I'd be like... Yeah, this is a neat spot for another little groove in my teeth. And I'd just sit there and I'd... I'd file away at my own teeth. <laughs> Why though? Um, I don't know. I don't know. When I was a kid, I also used to scratch the back of my neck until I bled. Sometimes you just do things. <laughs> Sometimes, in your infinite wisdom, as a child, you just do things, you know? <laughs> Actual insanity! <laughs> it sounds like OCD. I don't know. Not diagnosed, not my problem. <laughs> oh, our brains are broken. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. Kuro, thank you for the five dollars. But that is legit autistic, like, unironically. <laughs> Ah, uh, kill the personality of the Dolores. 29 years old and have never had a cavity. Bless. I'll post it in my chat. Thank you, thank you. Just saying, Dolores. I used to bite the strings on my sweater. Oh my god. Oh my god. I used to pop my jaw and now I have a crossbite. Oh my god. That's that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh god. People who pop their jaw are sick. That's sick. I can't imagine doing that. You're a weird person, Pippa. Yeah, that's what. That's what everybody in my life has always told me. And I thought they were being like... 
I thought they were being like mean, right? I was like, oh, you guys are just being mean because I don't fit in. And then now as an adult, I realize, no, scratching the back of your neck until it bleeds is kind of weird. <laughs> Not in the quirky way, either. <laughs> you know... I could have used some mental health treatments as a child, I think. I also... I also... It's not like a physical thing I did to myself. But for some reason... Around... Like... Fifth grade. Around fifth grade. I developed... Never told my parents this, but I developed the fear that my parents were trying to kill me. I think I've told you guys this. I think I've told you guys this. I just... I just developed the irrational fear that my parents were trying to kill me and that they would like... Like, I just... I don't know. I don't know. Like, it wasn't rational and I knew that like... Like, it was not rational. But like, I just had like that... Like if I like if I if I spent too much time on my own in like a store or whatever, I was like, they'll leave me here, which is like a normal one, right? That's like a little bit more tame. But then I'd be like, we're at the beach. They're gonna leave me here, and I'm gonna get murdered, and then they will get away with it because because the worst that they would get charged with is like child neglect, but. Child neglect does not hold the same charges as, like, murder. And I would, like, devise all of, like, these... These ways that, like, people could kill me and get away with it. I was like... I was like, oh, well, right now, you know, I haven't seen my parents in, like, a week. Because I've been holed up in my room. And actually, that might be part of, like, their plan. They might, they might not check on me and stuff because they actually, they're, like, hoping that I died in here. And if I, if that, like, happened, then, like, if there's no, like, fingerprints or whatever, you know, like, there's no, there's no signs of foul play. Then again, it would just be like, oh, well, Peppa just died, you know? It's like, I, I just, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I was, like, in fifth grade and I was, I was kind of schizoing out a little bit. And there was no reason for it. And now as an adult, I look back and I'm like... What the fuck was I on? <laughs> and it would just consume me. I'd be like, I'd be like in the car with them and I'm like... Like they'd, like, like... Mamakin's not a very good driver. Sorry, Mamakin. Like Mamakin would drive like erratically for a moment and I'd be like, Mamakin is trying to crash the car in a way that seems like it'd be accidental. So that way... If we get into an accident and then I die. Ah. I, I just. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever tell them this? No. No, because I know they would have been very angry with me. <laughs> Who wants to hear their child say, yeah, I think you're trying to kill me? I don't have any. Logical reason for thinking this. I just think you're trying to kill me. I just think you'd be happier if I didn't exist. <laughs> uh. Crashing your own car with yourself at the wheel is probably not high on the list of assassination methods, Pippa. I was a child. What do you what do you want from me? It's not Giga Brain. Mango finger tango mango thing for Lars. Thanks, Pippa. Very cool. We're delivering fuel for the concerned valve to do on. I'm gonna go brush my teeth now for no reason in particular. <laughs> oh, really? You don't say anything with Dolores. Need a gap tooth country pepper. Oh, God. Black Mage and Dolores. Actually, schizo. Yeah, but what the Christ? <laughs> I would interpret, like, gestures of kindness as, like, threats. Not, maybe not threats, but, like, so Mamakin was never, like, Against me drinking, right? So, like, when I was younger... Even though... Allegedly, this is all entirely fictional because I'm a made-up character named Pipkin Pippa. But when I was... When I was younger, right? And maybe not at the age to drink, Mama Kim was like... Yeah, you can have... You can... You can have my... 
my drinks whenever you like. And I'm like, she's hoping I become an alcoholic. Because all we have in the house is fucking Bailey's Irish cream, and that tastes like shit, and the rest is all pinnacle vodka. You're hoping I become an alcoholic and I and I and I die. Uh, drinking with parental supervision is legal, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't know. It is! Oh okay. So yeah. Mama can let me have access to her vodka cabinet, and I was like, yeah! And I I, 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 never, I never became an alcoholic. I didn't drink that much. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. I just... I just... I've always been very paranoid. I've always been very paranoid. And it got to a weird point in my life. Where, like... I would start to do things that I knew would make me more paranoid because I was just expecting death. And sometimes I get like this... Even still, it's like self-sabotaging. But with the most mundane shit. But I, I like... C catastrophize Like these mundane things. They weren't mundane to me, but in hindsight it was like... Like, like one thing was sometimes... So like, at this one house... There was a window in my room and it was too high up off the ground for anybody to like look through or to like climb into unless they had a fucking ladder. But let's be real, nobody was stealing shit from us. So I would like I would like leave the window open as I slept. And as I sleep, I have like nightmares about this, about like somebody peeking in through the window, and when I go to, like, confront them, they, like, run across the street and stuff, and, like, are, like, like, scary shit, like that, you know, like, it, fuck, it fucking scared the shit out of me, man. And I, I'd be like, yep, yep, I'm leaving my window open, even knowing that this is, this is how people die. This is how people die. <laughs> then close the window, but I wanted the window open. Not because I actually cared about the window being open, but because I wanted myself to suffer. We've talked about windows being spooky before. Yeah, I don't fuck with windows. Sleepy came over. She was like, can we open the blinds? I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> You're a very stable person. Thank you. Thank you. That's a compliment I don't receive very often. So. I remember I put up curtains at my last place and I was looking at them and I was like because I didn't have blinds I didn't I didn't have any blinds at this place the fucking place didn't come with blinds so I put up a curtain right and I'm looking through it and I'm like people could like vaguely make out my shape through these blinds which registers in my head or not blinds uh through these curtains so in my head I'm like oh that means they can see everything that I'm doing and they're going to intricately plot how to murder me. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna take notes of my, of my schedule and stuff and they're gonna see like when I'm, when I'm out here in front of like this blind and for, uh, fuck, I keep calling them blinds. I'm not blinds. I ended up buying paper blinds to put over them. But then, um, with the curtains, I just, I just, I was just going insane. I was going insane over these fucking curtains. So I bought blackout curtains. I bought fucking blackout curtains. <laughs> and I put them up. And I got literally no sunlight ever in that fucking house. Because I was, I, I, I was just so fucking... Out of my mind with fear about these fucking curtains. <laughs> ah! I don't like being seen. Ironically. I know, very funny, considering my, my career choice. Sunlight is overrated. I would go out on the back porch sometimes. I go out on the back porch. And... Usually, I... Like, in order to get myself to go out there, I would, like, brush my dog. Right? I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna brush the dog. I'm gonna do it outside so hair doesn't get all over inside. But then... I don't, I don't know, I just started deteriorating again, because it's like... At first, right, at first... It was like... 
the neighbors behind my house or whatever would like come out and they'd be doing stuff and I'm like, well, I can't be in in on my porch. I can't be on my porch while there are neighbors that are out that can see me. So I would go back inside. Right? But then eventually it started getting to the point where like I'd go out there and all I could think about was those fuckers are probably watching me from the window. I can't see them, but they can see me. And so, I started brushing my dog inside. <laughs> the hate neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Actual <laughs> gates out. No, no. Listen. This is this isn't like entirely out of nowhere. All right, when I was when I was younger, we had this we had or we were staying in this one place that was up on like this hill, right? And it didn't have curtains either. I remember we we pinned towels to the wall because there was no there was no curtains or blinds or whatever. This little fucking single wide, um, and I remember. We'd open the windows in the summer, sometimes, like while it was cooler out, right? You open the windows while it's cooler out, like in the morning and at night and stuff. And then once it starts to get around like... 10? Like 10 a.m.? You close the window and you put towels over the windows to block the sunlight. Well, apparently one of the neighbors down the hill... Would like... Spy on us? And he just kind of casually admitted this, too, that, like... He just, like, watched through our window sometimes. And I'm sitting here wondering... What the fuck? We're on a hill. We can't see your place through the trees. So, the iPad guy... No, this was a... That's a different guy. Different house. Um... This motherfucker must be using binoculars or a fucking telescope or some shit to be watching in through our goddamn windows. Cause we're like in the middle of the fucking woods on a hill. And you're in your What do you mean you saw us through the windows? What? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, I think maybe maybe that was. I don't know. I don't know. Might have been a catalyst for a lot of my future beliefs growing up. Why did he admit this? He was just a really friendly guy that said things sometimes that didn't perhaps come out right maybe i don't know i don't know he had a he had a pet redwood tree and he kept the dog tag on it and i think the dog tag was like from his friend or something i remember i i this was like we had like like three and a half acres or something I said we had, again, it was renting. But... I'd be like... Running around and stuff... On this hill. And it was cool, there was like a little mine and stuff. There was an old... Old little mine thing. And I remember going into the mine and just sleeping in it sometimes. Cause it was cool! The, the, like, like literally cool, like colder. So during the summer... It'd be like... Nice and... Dark and damp and... Cool. Anyways. So, um, one of the times, like, while I was running around and stuff, he, like, emerges from the fucking, the, the fucking trees. And I'm like, hey, what's up? I can't remember his name. But he's like, oh, not much, and we're chatting. And I have my cat with me, because I had a cat at this point, and the cat was more like a dog than it was a cat. So the fucking cat would just, like, follow me around like a goddamn dog. It was so cute. So I'm like chilling. It's me, my cat, and this guy who emerged from the trees. And he's like, "You want to see my redwood?" And I'm like, "Yeah!" And so he takes me deeper into the forest, and there's like this little clearing here. I'm just chilling with my cat, looking at this redwood sapling. This little redwood sapling, like a little actual tree, <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> this little tree, and he's got a little dog tag around it, but it's a sapling, so it's not big enough to actually hold the dog tag. And he's got, like, some little, like, sticks and stuff around it, and he's like, this is my redwood tree, and I'm like, whoa. That's cool. I forget what we talked about other than that. He 
invited me over to his house to have popsicles, and I was like, I don't think my parents would like that. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm good right now, but thank you. Thank you. And then I told my mother, and she was like, You are absolutely not going over to that man's house for popsicles. And I was like, Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I can understand that decision, actually. That, that makes sense. <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, so that was... It was an interesting fella. It was a... <laughs> it, was, it was an interesting fella. <laughs> Put in box. Oh god. Popsicles is how they get you. Oh my god, I have a whole cellar full of popsicles. <laughs> but sleeping in an abandoned mine is okay in your head? Well, yeah, because it was on our property. <laughs> it's on... It's on our property. We're renting the property. Who else is coming into this fucking mine? It's abandoned. It's fine. How old were you, Pippa? I think this was middle school. Like, very early middle school. We weren't there for that long. But, uh... I like popsicles now, though? Yeah, I like... I like fudge pops the most. Those are my favorite. I get why you're paranoid of open windows. <laughs> no, you wanna know... You wanna know why I'm really paranoid about open windows? You wanna know why I'm paranoid about open fucking windows? Oh my god, this is... I've been tangenting this whole time. This whole stream has been a tangent. So... One time, at this other place, this is the one where we lived across the street from a pedophile. Who invited me to help him move. Um... And... Sold me an iPad. Or not iPad, but sold me a tablet. Where he had looked for child porn on it. Anyways. That's how I found out he was a pedophile. Anyways! So, one time, I'm home alone. Right? I'm home alone. And we live in this area. Uh, the cops called it the Twilight Zone. We found out later there's a cute little nickname for the area that I lived in. Um, that's nice. That's nice when you're talking to the police and they're like, Yeah, we have a name for these parts. And I'm like, oh, like the street name, right? Or like the, the district? And they're like, no, we call it the Twilight Zone. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so anyways... <laughs> so anyways... <laughs> I'm home alone, and I'm taking a shower, believe it or not. I'm taking a fucking shower. And I hear, like, the front door. And we have, we have a winds, well, a storm door, that's what it's called. We have a storm door, and we have, like, a regular door. And I hear the front door, and I'm like, oh, shit. My parents are home. That's weird. What? And I, like, open the window. ...of the bathroom, and I look out, and I'm like, whoa! That must be my dad! And this is... ...middle of the fucking night. Right? This is... this is middle of the goddamn night. And I'm like... Oh, okay. So I quickly put on some clothes. And I go and I open the door. And there's nobody there. And the truck's not in the driveway. And I'm like... Huh. So I text my parents and I'm like... Are you home? And they're like... No? And I'm like... <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so I close the door! And I make sure the storm door is locked and I make sure the regular door is locked and I'm checking the back door and I'm making sure that's locked and I'm checking the garage door and I'm making sure that's locked and then I check the inside of the garage door and I make sure that's locked and then I pull out the gun and do a nice little perimeter sweep of the entire inside of the fucking house. So. Little did I know, this is a little, this is a little, a little trick called foreshadowing. <laughs> That's called foreshadowing. Cause little did I know. The things were gonna get much more weird. And that I hadn't just been hallucinating. Most likely, somebody had actually been at the door. So. I, um... I don't, 
remember if this is a couple months later, a couple weeks later, whatever. I am... Um, I'm sitting in the living room. I think I'm playing with my ferret. And I'm... Watching... Some shit. With my mother. I don't remember what. Some garbage reality show, probably. And... We start to hear... This, like... Scratching sound. And I'm like... The fuck is that? Is... 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 Papa Kim back? Is there a cat outside? And Mama Kim's like, oh, it's probably just one of the neighbor cats. And we hear... We hear, we keep hearing it. And there's some... There's some tapping on, like, the window? Right next to the door? And, um... So... Mama Kim's all confused, and she's like... Well, where's the cat? And I'm like, well... Our cat's inside. And she... Is this the milk story? This is the milk story! This is the milk story! So... Mama Kim opens the front door. It's not a cat. That's a drugged up neighbor with his cock out. That's not a cat. That's a chicken. <laughs> he has his pants undone. And he was standing there scratching at the front door for like half of an hour. To an hour. I don't remember how long exactly it was. He's like, he's like scratching at our front door. And eventually, we were like, we we're like, it's probably just a cat. It'll fuck off eventually, right? No! No! That's our drugged up neighbor scratching on the fucking door with his dick out. And so Mama Kin is kind of standing there in shock, and I'm looking over. I'm like, going on? Who's that? And I kind of peer around and I'm like, okay, never mind. And I... <laughs> and I grab my phone and I, 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 I go and call the police and stuff. And she's talking to the guy. Um... And he's asking for milk. He wants milk. <laughs> he's like, I'm really thirsty. Do you have anything to drink? I want some milk. And Mama Kin's like... Yeah, I'll, I'll get you some milk. And realistically, in hindsight, she should have closed the door and just fucking locked it. But on the other hand, this guy's zoinked out of his mind, so maybe you should just give him some fucking milk and he'll fuck off. She gives him like a, like a mug. Full of milk. <laughs> and, um, she didn't. She didn't. Maybe she did close the door. But then open it again to give it to him? I know what she wanted to do was she wanted to get, like... His, um... His DNA on the mug, I guess? So that way... Police could, like, have an easier time identifying or whatever. Uh, newsflash. The police... The police knew who he was. The police... The police... The police... Didn't need DNA on the mug. <laughs> they didn't need DNA. They knew exactly who it was. Because, fun fact, the drugged up guy asking for milk with his dick out on our front porch, who had been scratching at the door for 30 minutes at the minimum, had gone to an old lady's house. Just, just down the road, like a few houses away from us. And he had entered her house, sat on her couch, and drank her milk. And I think he had also masturbated on her couch or something? I don't know. Point is, this is like an 80 year old woman and he just walked in, stole her, stole her milk and uh, yeah, now he was at our house. So anyways, the cops come, they take like two hours because we live in the fucking woods. Um, nah, it wasn't two hours, it was like one hour. It was, it was like one hour. Um, by this point, I think Mama Kin and I had like holed up in the bathroom with the gun. Front door closed and everything. Um... Literally living in GTA. Uh, not, not quite. It's, it's not as bad as GTA. Um... 
The cops get there and they're like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did this to other people, blah 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 blah. And and I don't I don't think anything really came of it. I don't think anybody actually got arrested or anything. I don't know. I don't know how you follow through on that kind of thing. I don't know how you I don't know I don't know how you find out like what actually happened to the fucking streaker or flasher at your house who wanted milk. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. So they went off to go find a public indecency? I don't know. One of the one of the issues was Mama Kin didn't tell him to leave that he was trespassing. So and she didn't think to tell to lie to the cop to say that she had. So the cop was like, well technically you don't have any no trespassing signs here and you didn't expressly tell him to leave, so I'm just sitting there like Is that really Yeah, are you for real? Do you really have to ask Somebody to li I, I don't know. I don't know. Personally, yeah, I'd be kind of scared if I say, Please leave. That the drug addict is going to attack me with the mug I just gave him. Or maybe just attack me with his hands. I don't fucking know. I don't know. That's how trespass works, I guess. Yeah, damn, a technicality. I don't know. But I would think he'd at least get arrested for breaking and entering into the old woman's house. Like, that should, that should count for something, I would think. I don't know. I don't fucking know. So anyways. So anyways. This is, this is out in the sticks. Nobody, nobody fucking cares. Please don't fucking care. Nobody fucking cares. It doesn't fucking matter to anybody. So! Now, stuff starts to get really weird at this house. Um... They... We don't know who exactly, but like... Somebody starts poisoning our dogs. Like, we lost quite a few dogs at that house. Because... People fucking poison them. Um, stuff starts disappearing around the property. Like, they stole, they stole, like, a car battery and some other little shit. I don't remember all of it. And, um... Like, a month or so? I don't remember, again, the exact timeline. But after, after this incident... After, after this incident... And we're, by the way, after this first incident, we're like, we need to get the fuck out of here. What the fuck do you mean, the Twilight Zone? We gotta get the fuck out of here! <laughs> So we're like desperately house hunting and shit, trying, trying to get out of this place. And, um... We find out that, like, the neighbors that... Like, that, that druggie's part of, like, a family. And that whole family is batshit insane. And they've got, like, a little... There's, like, a little stop sign on our street. And they, like, are, like, camped out next to that stop sign just in the bushes, just behind it. And they have a chair and binoculars, and they would just like camp out and watch the neighborhood. I say neighborhood. This is like a little. This is like a little. It's just like a little street in in the middle of the fucking woods. It's a bunch of houses clustered together. And um, and then it leads up into some mountains and shit. Like we're we're pretty far from like real civilization, but you know we have like a there's like a. There's a post office. Not on our street, but... Like... 20 minutes away. Anyways! Anyways! So! Yeah, so they're like... I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what they're doing over there, right? I don't know why you would have, like, a, a chair and binoculars to watch the fucking neighborhood with. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the neighborhood watch! Sounds like a potential cult site. I don't know! Meth? You think they're just on meth and board, maybe? I don't know. I don't know! Anyways... So now the second incident with these people happened. And I've heard all kinds of stories now, because I've started... I've started, like, getting a little bit curious about this. I'm talking to the other kids on the bus. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Um... Yeah, this is what happened to me. 
And the other kids are like, yeah, one of them got naked and rolled around on my roof. And I don't know if that's true or not. But it certainly sounds like it could be true. It certainly sounds like something they would do. This is also the same neighborhood that had a tree fall on somebody's camper and kill them and... Nobody... Checked on them or anything, so for months, there was just this camper with a dead body in it that the school bus would go by. Anyways... Anyways! Oh, Jesus. Uh, Basil Foxy, thank you for $100 dollars Can I get a blade? Happy birthday from my Yoshi. Yeah, but it was last week. Glad you're doing better, but glad you're doing your way sometimes. Stuff for lost like, Yeah, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday! I hope you have a good birthday! Um... So, anyways? Yeah, this one... This one area was very eventful. Um... Anyways, the second encounter. I guess third encounter. I don't know if I'd count the first one. Because it was just like... Me thinking my parents were home when they were not. And then I, I guess it... It might not have been then. It just seems... I don't know. In hindsight, it seems like the drug addicts... Developed a strange interest... In us. And... I don't know. I don't know what the catalyst was that was for that or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. So now, encounter number three. Um... I'm playing video games. In my room. I think I was playing Terra or something. I don't know. Mabinogi. I was playing some shit. And I hear a clattering sound. And I have like this sinking feeling in my gut. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. And normally, like, like this is not uncommon for shit to like fall over in the house. You know, like we have... We have animals, we had ferrets, and we had cat, and we had... The few dogs that had survived being poisoned. Um... Oh, one of the dogs got shot, if I remember correctly. Is... Yeah. Actually, what dogs did survive? There was two. There was two. Anyways. So! So! I'm like, that doesn't sound right. And I don't know, it's interesting how, like, you can kind of tell when something's wrong sometimes. Even though, like, on the surface, it should just be like, oh, well, like, a little crashing sound. And probably just something got knocked over. Whatever. So... I, I leave my room, and I look out. And there's this guy on the floor, and he, like, knocked over our, our fan. And Mama Ken's, like, freaking out, and he's, like... He, he, like... Runs into, like, the garage, and he's, like, looking for a place to hide. And then he, like... I think he, he ran out, like, the back door. I don't know how he escaped our fucking yard, because we had this really fucking high fence. That motherfucker must have climbed for his goddamn life! Um... And I'm looking at Mama Ken, and I'm like, what the fuck was that? And Mama Ken's like, I don't fucking know! Call the police! And I'm like, okay! So I'm calling the police. And Mama Ken's like, looking out the windows and shit, looking around, she's like... Trying to find and, and Mama Ken's like... Yeah, I just saw... I think he's being chased. I saw a guy with a gun. I saw... I, I saw... I saw a gun poke up from the other side of the fence. And I'm like... What the fuck? And so we're now hiding out in the bathroom again. Our kind of little go-to safe room at this point. It's got a lock on the door. Um... And we're, we're hiding out in there and we're calling the police and we're like, yeah... There's a guy with a gun and some other guy got into the house and he like ran out. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And I'm pretty calm. Momakin's freaking out. I I, 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 I... I take some pride in... When it actually comes down to it, you know, when, when the situation's actually serious, I can, I can kind of handle myself. Um... So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there and talking to the... Talking to the operator and she's like, stay calm, stay calm! And I'm like, no, I am calm, it's fine. Well, I mean, it's not fine, actually. There's a man with a gun outside our house and somebody broke in and yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but... No, I'm fine, I'm calm. Unironically! No, anyways. <laughs> So the police get there. And... 
It was kind of cool because they had like all their guns out and shit and they were like they were like sweeping the area and Mamakin thought that he had she had seen him like run into the chicken coop and so the police were like they were like they had their guns out pointed at our chicken coop and there was just chickens in there but it yeah anyways um so we're talking to the cops and stuff explaining what happened and and right on, we, we go we go outside a little bit to like talk to the cops and stuff. It's broad daylight this time. And um, there's a metal bat with a large dent in it in our yard. And the police officer is like, is that yours? They're like, no, no, actually, that is not ours. And he's like, huh, well, now it is I'm like, OK. And anyways, I think my parents still have that bat. They keep it by the back door to bonk intruders with. I think anyway, I don't know. It's probably moved by now. It's been so many years. It's been so many fucking years. Yeah, so anyways, that was our bat. Our metal bat that has a fucking massive dent in it. Don't know what the fuck happened with that, but it's ours now. Anyways. Was there blood on it? No. What? In that evidence? I, I guess not. <laughs> they just handed over evidence. I... You know, you watch like, you watch like true crime shows and stuff and they're like, oh my god. And then this key piece of evidence was, was submissi submitted and they, and they found out who the killer was and blah, 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 blah. These cops just gave us the bat. We're like, that's not our bat. It's got a dent in it and it's metal. And they're like, well, you can have it. I'm like, what the fuck? You don't need that? Just <laughs> a piece of evidence. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah, small town police be like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It feels like it should go against some sort of protocol, but I guess it's ours now. So anyways, now the cops are out chasing around the neighborhood trying to find the guy with the gun and the fucking dude who broke into our house. Presumably hiding from the guy with the gun. I don't know. I don't know what was happening there. Like, in hindsight, I think what happened... Again, I never, like read any police reports on this or anything so i don't i don't even know if there was a fucking police report again small town but um it i don't know mama Ken thought maybe that like he had ran into the house and was like pretending to be chased so that way he could like scope out the house and see like what we had in there but i kind of think he like stole somebody's drugs or pissed somebody off or something i don't know i don't know anyways then found out that that guy had a little bit of a backstory. Ended up finding out he had a little bit of a backstory. Which included killing his mother and setting her car on fire for drugs. So, they got a little bit of a backstory going. I guess it's like a group of brothers. Like a little group of brothers that live right up the road from us. You can see their house from our house. Lived on this, they lived on the little hill. And the stop sign was actually like on their side of the property and stuff. So I don't know. I guess they, maybe they, they hung out there and did brother things. I don't know. They probably did drugs. Anyways. There's like three brothers and they like... I don't know. They had like they had like a whole little, whole little backstory to that. I don't remember all of it. I just... I just... You know, when you find out that the guy that broke into your house killed his mother for drugs and set her car on fire, that part kind of sticks with you. You remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> Super Meth Brothers! Yeah! Yeah, so... <laughs> this stream started with dentist stories. Yes, it did. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes... I wonder if it's possible, like, if I could, like, call the police department and see if there was ever, like... Any updates on that situation, but I don't know any of their names or anything. Like, I don't know the names of the brothers. I, I guess I could give, like, street addresses and stuff. I don't know. You actually can? I don't know. I should reach out. That could make for great stream content. Finding out what happened to the meth heads up the road. Oh, God. I remember. I never stood at the bus stop the same way again after that. I remember. I'd be like... I'd be like standing at the bus stop and I'm looking up at the fucking road. I'm like... I'm looking at their house and I'm like... I might die today. <laughs> And I think that paranoia was actually justified. I think... I think I was right to be scared to stand at the bus stop. 
But I remember, Mamakin was so on edge after that. Understandably. Uh, we were, we were moving and... Um... They kept like... They kept like coming over. Like the meth heads would keep like... They'd be like... They'd start walking towards us. Right? And then they'd just like turn around and walk back. One time, they walked over and they were like... They asked if they could like help or whatever. Um, and Mama can't... One of my uncles was there. Shitty uncle. He fucking sucked. I hate that guy. He's a useless sack of shit. He only did it because he wanted cigarettes. He didn't care about our safety. Fuck that guy. Anyways. He, um... He was there. And I think... I think maybe like that kind of... Made them more nervous, maybe? I don't know. Papakin was not around. Not like he left us or whatever, but like he, he was like doing work stuff, so he couldn't be around. Um... And yeah, it was just weird. One time, one time, we were taking a, a load of stuff over to the new house, and they followed us. That was, that was interesting. That was very interesting. They started following us. We pulled over because there was some... We didn't even notice at first. We pulled over on the side of the road. In the middle of the fucking woods, by the way. In the middle of the goddamn woods. Again, this is out in the sticks. So we pull over. And... They go to... Uh, uh, my uncle and Mama King go to fix some straps that were coming loose off of the truck. Off of the stuff inside of it. And they realize... They're like... Those are our crackhead neighbors. <laughs> so they come back into the they come back into the truck and and Mamakin's like, like Mamakin left um, her brother out there to like fix the straps and stuff and she came to like tell me, and she's like they're following us and I'm like, well that's not good. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. And they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. They just they sat in their truck and they just watched. And it's like... Um... Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's really not good! But they didn't, they didn't do anything. They just... They just watched. They have been intimidating for kicks. That's what Mamakin said. Mamakin said maybe they were trying to intimidate us. I don't know. My... My brain goes towards... They were probably on the phone with the other crackhead brothers. And they were probably... Um... Like, tailing us so we knew, like, how long we would be gone for. So maybe, like, the other brothers could try and, like, get into the house or something. That was my guess. I don't know. Maybe it was intimidation. I don't know. They didn't end up following us all the way to the new house. Obviously, because the new house was, like, fucking two hours away. Kiko and they were to our secretly guardian angels. Yeah. Yeah, guardian angels. That's what they were. Okay, you think the $10 step. I'm glad you survived all of that and you were here with us. Good night, good night. It is midnight. I, I got distracted with tangents again. I missed streaming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should check the super chat list. Yeah. Did you hear banjos? No. No. I missed you, Beba. Do I sound different? Do I actually sound different? My throat had a long time to rest. My throat was actually starting to feel a little bit... A little bit sore. Um... A lot of projects and stuff. Do I sound different? But I feel like I also sound more, like, squeaky. Like, because I haven't been actively... Actively talking. Like, I've, like, lost control of my voice, and now I... Now I sound like a squeaky 12-year-old trying to do a comedy bit constantly. <laughs> Slightly deeper. Mm. You sound no different. I did just wake up, too. <laughs> I've been sleeping a lot. You sound happier. Hell yeah. You sound less dead inside. Isn't that the same? True. That is true. <laughs> but that sounds better. I'm glad. Uh, space thing with Fuddlers. I don't think you sound different. Also, your stories have more red flags than the Swiss Airport gift shop. <laughs> Look, man, they were the two dollars. You missed streaming. We missed you. Huh. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I think I was a little bit burnt out as well. So the vacation was... I call it a vacation. It was a vacation. It wasn't... I 
wasn't healing, it was a vacation, and now I'm rejuvenated. <laughs> Never on the barrel thing, but you do sound different, you sound cooler than you are. Oh, there you go. Every case, name Dolores Pippa. It makes, if it makes you feel better, I once lived next to an area called the Four Corners of Death. That was nice. What the fuck do you have to do to earn that nickname? This is the thing, and Plattered, you missed us. I missed you too. See, I made the mistake as a child thinking our area was safer than the other areas because all the burnt down single lines were down the road. I was like, that's a completely different street with all the burnt down manufactured houses. Our street's fine! <laughs> <laughs> the drug addicts who burn down their houses live down the road. This is fine. <laughs> ah, turns out, no. Victor Martinez, Zinger Dolores, I napped and you're still going. Night anyways. Good night. Good night. <laughs> we only have one meth lab. We're in the classy district. Oh my god. The sign with all the bullet holes is a whole block away. <laughs> Oh god, the street with the fucking potholes so deep, children are using them to swim in. That's a different street. Same area, different street. Take antibiotics. I'll go take my pills. I'll go take my pills. Um, meds after stream. I know, I know! John Garrison thing, but it reminds me of the week I took for vacation when I threw my pack out and couldn't walk last month. Oh god. It's good to have a vacation. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey now, those crows were my pets. <laughs> Pothole swimming pool. Alright, we're, uh... Oh, Discord. Oh, Ben's... Ben's dead, thank you for dollars. As someone who has lived in a shitty Appalachian town before, I can confirm this is very accurate. Once my dog was kidnapped by a guy on an ATV wearing a World War One German... stall helm. Huh. Just crackhead activities. Just... Just... Just the usual... Just, 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 uh, just the usual. Glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you, Jose Pamanamo. Thank you, come big pee-pee. Oh, man. Oh, God, this list is long. Um... Alright. Alright. I'm not gonna get distracted. I'm gonna read these. Auxiliary character, thank you for $5. She back. Winston, thank you for the $2. Oni, thank you for $10. Welcome back, Pippa. I got to go to bed because of Ouija, but I hope this is a fun stream and I hope your time off was fun. I don't know if fun is the right word. I played some video games and had fun doing so for the first time in a long time. Right, like, I've, I've kind of... I kind of play games off stream, but it's always, like... I feel like I could be doing stuff for stream, or I feel like I should be saving the content for stream. But while I, while I had the break, I was just so, like, mentally out of it. I was like, I like video games. <laughs> oh, gacha games? No, actually, I played uh, Timesia. I didn't beat it. I have not beat it. It's fucking hard. It's a fucking hard game. But... Enjoyed that. Um... Played a little bit of Sea of Thieves. Um... Oh fuck, I know I played more. I can't remember them though. I can't... I can't... Immediately tangent- I'M SORRY! Bro, <laughs> the Papa Day Day, thank you for the 376, I miss you! Oh, is she happy you're on? The men! Please take care. Thank you, thank you. Pegasus boxing with the 376. I bestow upon you my high school nickname, Whirlwind Self Injury. I earned it well with yours now, Pippa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, howdy doodly champion diddly doodly. Thank you, Brother Lars. Had a crack house across the street from my private cra grade school. Oh, that's a good place for a crack house. Across the street from the children. Gotta start them young. The only, the only bad part is, is they don't have money. But if you get them hooked on it, maybe they'll, maybe they'll steal some for you. I don't know. Uh, Agasawa, thank you for the 320. It has been 14 years since my wife Kitsuchiri from Zetsubo Sensei season, season 3, episode 2, telling you guys to laugh. Are you all happy, bored add-ons? Silver Spire, thank you, Dolores. Welcome back to the No One. Thank you for the 206. I can't buy you a new tooth, but I can buy you a soda can. Glad you're back, Peppa. Thank you. Jack of Blaze, thank you for the 76 cents. I like watching you go stir. Liked watching you go stir crazy on Twitter. Zircon Time, High Cube, CRG Runner, Auxiliary Character, Drew. Oh, oh, thank, you, thank you for the five gift PPs. Thank you, thank you. Drew D, thank you for the 20 gift PPs. Victor Martinez, Pedro, and Patchel Saucer, thank you for the five gift PPs. Uh, Berserk Rage, thank you for $5. Welcome back, Pippa. I'm glad you're able to stream again. I missed you a lot this past week, but I'm glad you got some rest. Pippa Love! Berserk Rage, thank you for the $5. Oh, I read it. Um. Dan Tranley with 1776. Hey, Pippa. 
Miss you on America's birthday. I hope your teeth no longer hoard and you enjoyed your hiatus. Thank you, thank you, Cock Wobbler. Thank you for the five gift peepees. Uh, Broke Canadian, thank you for the 376. Welcome back, you crazy rabbit. Nakasu, thank you for the 1361. Welcome back, Pippa. We surely missed you. Hope everything went well and you're feeling better. Thank you, thank you, James Jameson. Thank you for the five gift peepees. Arc Light, thank you for the five gift peepees. Not the ATF, thank you for the 1234. I miss my Yoshi so much, I'm glad you're back! Thank you! Victor Martinez, thank you for the dollars. It's a 7 Eleven miracle! Bahamut, thank you for the $2. Is that a whistle I hear when you talk? I don't think so. I think I sound normal. I think I sound fine. I'm kind of overcompensating to enunciate, but. Bahamut, thank you for the dollars. Alright, right it. Uh, CS, thank you for $5. New teeth fund. Spread to God, thank you for $10. A great big to another sister kin too. Some rippers and peppers. Pippa, glad you're feeling better today. Little 710, thank you for the 333! 33! Welcome back, buddy. I missed you. Try not to lose any more teeth. Step it off. Thank you. It was an old rare thing with plenty of good peeps. Um. Okay, one small tangent. I gotta say, though, it was kind of a shitty week in terms of, like, you know, enjoying things. Like, not related to two stuff. Um. Nina graduated. And I'm not good at watching graduation streams, so I'll check out that VOD eventually. I'll check out that VOD eventually. Nina... I, I don't know how to, how to say this without it, like, sounding... What? Like, okay, like, in general... Okay, hold on. I mostly watch Hololive. Streamers, right? So like, I have like such a such a like a big list of whole life streamers. I'm always watching whole life, but Nina, like, I would actually go out of my way to watch, even though she wasn't whole life. She's Niji Sanji. I have merch of her. I don't really talk about it because it feels weird. I don't. I don't. I don't like. It's like. I don't know. I feel in general like kind of awkward talking about VTubers and stuff or other streamers in general nowadays because like I feel like whenever I talk about other streamers people like latch onto it and turn it into something or make it weird. Um... But yeah, I really, I really like Nina. And... So I hope to... See her again someday. I hope to see her again someday. I'll very eagerly support her in whatever she does. Ah... And then, there was the scare... With comic lover Mary on Twitter. Mari, I don't know how you say her name, actually. Because only, I've only ever read it, so... Um... She posted, like, some scary stuff on Twitter. Thought... She, like... Potentially killed herself. And I like her tweets. I don't know her personally or anything, but I don't know, I don't know. I, I get scared for other people, so... I don't know. I don't know. She's good, she's taking a break. Yeah, she posted updates. She posted updates, she's taking a mental health break. She'll be back for the Barbie and Oppenheimer stuff. We'll be posting about that. I hope she's well. Thankfully, she's fine, yeah. Vesper and Magna yesterday, too? They're just on... They're just... They're, it said, it said, like, they're taking a break. It's a hiatus. I don't think they got suspended or anything. I hope not. I hope everything's fine. I think it's probably just like a break. It's probably it's probably just like a little break. They've had like a lot of stuff happen. You know, like they got they got new models and stuff, so might be like, yep, that was a nice time to kind of chill out a little bit. You know? They went fishing. Hmm. I don't know. I hope they're having a good time. Uh -huh. But then an interesting news. Gura came back with a stream. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. I need to watch that. I saw some silly clips. Not just one. Has she done more than one? Tangent juice. Sorry! Sorry, a lot has happened! Doggy pull pressing your dollars. You never know what you've got until it's gone. Welcome back, friend. Welcome back. Come with chair. Thank you, Welcome back, Pippa. Hope the recovery and break were good. Thank you. I guess it's boxing with 753. Pippa, so glad you're back. It was funny. Around the same time you disappeared, I was told I have resorption, a genetic flaw in my teeth that make them dissolve like baby teeth. It sucks. Holy shit. I hope you're able to work something out with that. Jesus Christ. 
Um, where's the clothing with 33? Welcome back, Yabbit. Thank you. Krampus, thank you for the 1085. Welcome back, Pippa. Uh, tell us about your saga of suffering. Misty Lost, Pippa Love. It's interesting with 20 gift peepees. Maddie Gazy, thank you for the I love you, big peepee. Peepee. Uh, Dandy, thank you for the $10. What did you do and how bad was it? You're playing with the missionary, thank you for the $10. I'm so proud of you taking care of yourself. It makes me very happy. Sadly, can't donate. And uh, more as my bird needs his vet bill paid. Oh, well, well done, Pippa. Oh, well done. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, vet, vet trips for birds are fucking expensive. They're fucking expensive. My birds never needed to go to the vet, but I take her to the vet because I'm paranoid about her. I love her and I'm concerned about her. So I take her to the vet and it's fucking expensive. And they're always just like, yep, she's a bird. And I'm like, yep, she's a fucking bird. Rockmaster T, thank you for the thirty-three years a dollar on behalf of the Tooth Fairy. Thank you. Baha Vet, thank you for the back at it again with poor dental hygiene. Party thing and Lois hide. Did you bring home cigarettes? Can I bum one from you? No, I did not. Pippa, you should be concerned about yourself. Don't tell me what to do. Real hitting to Lois. Can you eat from a fork without opening your mouth? I don't think that's possible. What? Chad Boulder, thank you for the $50, dude. Thank you, thank you. It's 3 a.m. here, so I might crash in bed at some point. I just want to say that we all miss you, funny bunny, and then I hope you feel much better now. Pippa love. Thank you! Uh, bombing for dollars. Too fun. It's a condition thing for doors, gold tooth fun. I'm trying so hard not to go on the tangents. I'm trying, I'm trying so fucking hard not to tangent. Holy shit. Hey, Jim and your two So, how much for the run tooth and skin? The best you're rolling for those 3D printing can cast your mouth with bite correcting prosthetic implants. We might not be able to fix you, but we can repair you. We have the tech. Saving for doors is really the return of Hicken Hicka. Later, guiding your $20 is nice of you to lose. Another tool to continue the number three bit. But I'm warning you, you don't have 33 teeth to lose. That's true, I have to stop at three. Yeah, pent up tangents. I had so many tangents. I would just be laying in bed and I'd be like, oh man, this will make a great stream tangent. Oh my god. Oh, I should tell this story on stream. Have I ever told this one before? I don't think I have. I don't think I'll be a nice stream. Thank you, thank you. Oh man. I started like I was it was like a moment of reflection. I was like envisioning myself as a like a, like an old man on a mountain reflecting upon his life choices. I don't know why I'm a man in this situation, but whatever. I'm like looking back and I'm like, here's what I would have done differently with my life. As if I'm fucking dying. I'm just laying in bed with tooth pain. And there are some things that I that I decided that I wanna do. And I'm scared to say them, because then if I end up, like, backsliding on them, you guys will be like, Pippa, you said you were going to! So I'm scared to say them, but... Yeah. A lot of, a lot of self... A lot of self-reflection. <laughs> Pippa's my favorite man, Pippa male. <laughs> Old man reflecting is a mood. Hmm. Say them. Oh, God. Okay, one thing... I want to bring back interview streams, and I want to do them better. Um... Want to be a little bit more aggressive with interviews? Because at the end of the day, interview streams... You know, like, they're there to entertain you guys. Like, these... The people that I interview can write out as much, like... Like, they can answer your questions and shit on their own time. So, like, I want to... I want to be more, like, aggressive with interviewing people. And not let them, like, tangent as much and not... Like... If they're being boring with it... Just call it. You know? Just fucking call it. And then... The other thing I want to do... Is I want to... DM a campaign... For some of the phase girls. I don't... I don't... I don't... I've only DM'd once. Okay, and it's been two years, at least... Since I've played D&D last. Fifth edition, by the way. Have you DM'd before? Once. I've DM'd once, and it was a homebrew campaign. I've never... I've never DM'd a campaign... out of a book. Um... It was cool. It was all Western and stuff. But it didn't last very long. <laughs> it didn't last very long. <laughs> it was fun. Anyways. So yeah, it's been two years, so I'm extremely rusty on 5th edition. Very, very rusty on D&D. And, and just in general, like, I'm a very inexperienced DM. So... I want to... I want to... Try DMing. Str 
Strixhaven, a curriculum of chaos, caught my eye. And I thought that would make for a very interesting campaign. Because, like, FaZe Connect has always kind of had, like, the... Oh, back in FaZe World, like, some of the girls went to FaZe Academy. The FaZe World Academy to, like, become guardians. To fucking find the relics or whatever the fuck. I don't know. There was FaZe Connect lore about an academy and shit. And I just kind of stuck with me. I was like, oh, Strixhaven would be, like, a cool campaign to run. I've never played... Can I've never played Strixhaven. I don't know. I've never even seen anybody play it. It just caught my eye. So, I picked up the book for that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna study the book. I'm gonna look up more DMing tips and try and refresh myself. I need to refresh myself with how to play the fucking game. It's been so fucking long. And then I'd like to... I'd like to do a... Campaign. I don't know. But I'm also very anxious about it because I just know. I just know I'm gonna fuck shit up and people are gonna be like, No! Pippa! Pippa! You didn't... Oh my god, you didn't... You didn't tell the other girl that actually she has advantage on this because of her fucking... Or, or, or the classic, This isn't critical role. This isn't... This isn't what they would do in Critical Role. The iconic... The iconic lime! Oh god. Critical Role has been a blight. I have never even seen Critical Role. I love Matt Mercer, but... Fuck, I hate Critical Role. <laughs> I hate Critical Role and the damage it has done to our society. <laughs> oh god. I should watch it. I, sh I should give it a try. Maybe we could do like a watch along on Twitch or something of Critical Role and I can be like... This is what people are losing their fucking minds over. Or maybe I'll be like, oh yeah, actually this is fantastic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure your D&D streams would be fun. Hopefully. I really like D&D. What I miss most though is painting minis. I haven't painted minis in years. And it makes me sad. Because I fucking love painting minis. There's just nothing like it. There's nothing like painting minis. I don't know why. People will be like, Oh! Well, if you get like a... If you get like a garage kit for an anime figure, you just paint it yourself. And I'm like, No, no, that's out of my depth. I could never do that. But when you hand me a $3 piece of plastic... With barely any discernible features, I'm like, I'm gonna spend four hours on this. I... I've got... I've got the wash ready. I've got, uh, I've got fucking seven different types of paints for different layers. I have different brushes. They're all from the dollar store, but I have so many different brushes. <laughs> oh, mini painting. I bought so many, so fucking many mouselings. Um... I only have one of the big sets. There's like a big set of mouselings where it's like a, they're like steel. And they're, they're, they're the little metal dice, the little metal mouselings. And I just thought they were the cutest thing and it was my dream. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a whole set of mouselings. I accumulated something like 20 of these different fucking mice. I should explain, mouselings are like these little, um... They're, they're little mice. That stand on two le it's like, it's like, um... The rescuers from, um... From Disney. They're just, they're just little mice people. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint all of these. But yeah, like Redwall. Redwall, the Tale of Despero. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint all these. I'm gonna make a whole set and then I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run Mouse Guard. I'm gonna run a Mouse Guard game. I never read a, I never ran Mouse Guard. I never, I never ran Mouse Guard. I've never even played Mouse Guard. I wanna, I, I wanna run Mouse Guard. Secret of Nim, kinda. But yeah. Anyways, anyways, tangent, tangent. Back to reading. Back to reading. By the way, you guys should read the Mouse Guard comics if you haven't. They're fucking fantastic. Um, board thing for the five dollars. Too fun. Yes, you think Dolores Pippa got that redneck smile. Agent John Glow thinks Dolores get implants. Paraplanetic missionary thing with Dolores. I love goblins, Pippa. You're fine. Sleepy thing for the two dollars. That's why I just steal them. It's free. What the fuck, Sleepy? What are you talking about? Teeth? Go pathetic, thank you for $20, glad to have you back, hope you're doing better, Pippa Love! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Best thing for $2, watch some Matthew Colville for new DM tips. I might have to. 
I always... I felt kind of weird about, like, watching D&D videos before. Oh, I'm tangenting again. Because I was like... Oh, if I watch, like, other people play D&D and stuff, it'll take away my natural reaction to playing D&D, you know? Like, I might, I might accidentally, like, adopt other people's styles and stuff. But it's fine. It's fine. He started imitating them? Yeah. I... It's not playing. It was definitely not playing. But... I don't know. I don't know. That's why I also never watch Critical Role. Because I was like, if I watch Critical Role, then I'll have like this idea of what I'm supposed to do in my head or whatever. Because everybody heralds fucking Critical Role! As like, oh my god! Critical! Critical Role! Oh my god! Many emerge! Oh my god! J the character voices? Oh my god! If I can't play in a party with somebody who can do a unique character voice for every single NPC, well, I don't want to play at all. Or, oh my god, party members should all play like this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I have. I have feelings about Critical Role. Critical Role is the Big Bang Theory of DD. That might be why I'm having such an adverse reaction to it. I meant advice videos, not gameplay. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Advice videos. I should, I should check them out. I should check them out. I've never actually read the Dungeon Master's Handbook. That'd be a good place to start. That'd be a good place to start. Actually read the official material. I kind of just like pick stuff up over time and I was like, yeah, I can run my own. <laughs> Who has? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's like the go-to thing you should do. But I kind of just started DMing and I was like, yeah, this is fine. I'd probably mess so much shit up. But I know if I'm gonna stream it, I'm gonna have, like, so many people, like, nitpicking everything I do. So I should probably, I should probably be more thorough. Oh, from part two thing, with the 500 yen. I'm excited for future. Oh. Ah! That's a hard thing with two large. Sounds like you would enjoy gunplay. It's the same. See, I think it's a large. 40k mini painting stream win. I don't play 40k and I've never played it. Uh, tell me something with five How have you not read version two of Revised Ranger Unearthed Arcana? Surely you should know that this version of Ranger doesn't get the Deft Hunter! Plus 1d4, JK, have fun. Uh, maybe I should be an asshole and I should be the DM. I'm like, no, no, no Unearthed Arcana, no homebrew, no nothing. We're playing the game straight. Fuck off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't play 40k, but I still paint the minis. Oh my god, I was looking at mini shops earlier on Etsy, and I found one of f motherfucking Calliope Mori. I found a fucking Calliope Mori mini. She was titled, uh, like, Death Goddess or something, but like, you can tell it's her. You can tell it's her. And the price on it was $6.66, and I was like, huh, see what you did there. Super Tell is not getting read. I'm gonna read it! Alex Blackfoot, they were $10. Just do it, Pippa. Don't let your memes be dreams. You DM the glorious train wreck of a game you want to run! Maybe I should. Maybe I should. The Lewis Doctor thing with $100. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for streaming. Welcome back, Rabbit. Thank you, thank you. Pippa Guy, thank you, $5. Dollars. The Adventure Zone by the McElroys is fantastic. It's a great DD podcast. I've seen that. Like, I've not, I've not listened to it, but I've, like, heard of its existence. And all from part two thing with 346. I'm excited for future collabs. Uh, please take care of yourself. Also, Critical Role is obnoxious. Yeah, there are no faults of Critical Role. Critical Role's own, might I add. I'm not like, fuck you, everybody who played and participated in Critical Role. I hope you personally die. It's more like, oh god. What unholy creation have you... Uh, have, have you stirred upon the culture of this community? Blah, 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 blah. I just... Oh, God. Anyways. DMing is like streaming at one point. Just do it. Yeah. I guess it kind of was like streaming. But I don't know. It's also... Like, I DM'd in person. So it was very... Put that out of context now! It was very, it was very difficult to like... Get as passionate about it as... As I am with like regular streaming, right? Cause especially like with that group, they're very um... How do I say? 
They would not appreciate if I said the word like lowly or trap. They were kind of. made a lot of Trump jokes. Which, like, I don't care what your politics are, right? I don't- I don't consider myself a very political person. But you can just, like, tell with some people. Sometimes you just have to keep... Sometimes you just have to- have to keep certain parts of your personality in a nice little box. <laughs> sometimes you just have to- you just have to push that aside and be like, hmm... Hmm... Send the political beat to our fuck off! I just... Some groups don't work out. They're fine. They were... They were... They were... They were... They're okay people. It's, it was just... I definitely didn't know how to handle them. Back then. And... Yeah. Yeah. Literal VAs in Critical World. Literal VAs in Critical World. Oh, by the way. Uh, I, I can't stream tomorrow. I have something else I have to do. <laughs> I'm gone tomorrow. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. All good? Okay. I'll have stories to tell. I'm sorry. Maybe I can sneak a small stream in. I don't know. GLD from Fun Doors. Hey Pippa, I heard you were having a rough time earlier this year. If you start feeling down again, I recommend Black Pants Legion Anchor Podcast and YouTube channel with Hex, his video in Essay on Mods, Whale Guns, and Friendships is worth a watch. What the hell? That is quite the name. Otter Von Biscuit, thank you for Lars. Glad to have you back. Pippa, Pippa Love, thank you! Airman, shit post, thank you for the four cents. Can you tell my dear friend Joel that I hate him? Fuck you, Joel! Your friend Ermin hates you! Uh, Mark Walk, thank you for $10. Good choice on the initial D Euro B in the background. Now I want to go run my local MT. Manuel Cassiano, thank you for the 118. Invite Fauna, she would be an excellent DM. Jill, thank you for the... Wait, are that? Um... Um... Does anybody else hold, like, kind of, like, DMing to, like, a... Like, an intense standard? Like, when somebody else is DMing, you're like, Oh, you forgot this plot point? Who cares, man? Who cares? Can you pass the chips and salsa? But the idea of, like, you DMing yourself, you're like... I need to prepare, like, five sessions in advance. If I don't have every single NPC... If I, if I don't have, like, a list, a backlog of a hundred NPCs to pull from for emergency situations... It's over. A GM almost entirely improv. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't think I'd be that bad at improv. Maybe I'm jinxing myself. Because that's kind of what streaming is. The streaming is a bunch of improv. <laughs> but for some reason in my brain, I'm like, Oh god, I can't do any improv. I need to prep for absolutely everything. And so I'm looking at Strixhaven and I'm like, Oh shit, this is a lot of fucking improv. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, Pixie Misa, thank you for the 665. Pippa Dental Fan Fund. Mongo Bingo, thank you for the dealers. Ooh, I miss you, Pippa! Psyching yourself out, yeah. Slum Baron, you're the 124. How much for your removed tooth? You can't have my removed tooth. Sorry to tell you, but you can't plan for everything in D&D. I know! I know from first-hand experience! I know from first-hand experience when you DM and you plan out a bunch of shit and you're like, this is the interesting parts. The party's gonna want to do this. And the party's like, Oh, you mentioned this one area in passing, and you said there's nothing of interest there? Well, let's go make sure! Uh, what do you mean, let's go make sure? I just told you, there's nothing there! What do you mean? And they're like, We're gonna, we're gonna walk around and we're gonna talk to the NPCs. We're gonna, we're gonna look, who do we see here? You, you see... Um, there's a band of ruffian types standing around, and they're looking at you as though you don't belong here. And the party starts discussing amongst themselves, they're like... This must be part of like a secret criminal organization. I think we should investigate this further. And I'm like, no! No! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, boy. God forbid you start a combat encounter, then they're just more excited. 
Then they're like, oh, they're really hiding something. No, no, they're not. I was hoping you would kill them. I was hoping you'd kill them and it'd be a dead end. You wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> there goes the plan. Friends, good night. I think you were the 97... Or 97... 19 cents! Ah, uh, you know I hate the dentist. Local anesthetics don't affect me. I've always had the root canal treatment. And it was one of my most painful experiences. Jesus Christ. The anesthetic doesn't affect you at all. Jesus Christ. My players love my owlbear shopkeep. Well, I mean, to be fair, that sounds adorable. No railroading, Katha. I'm not... I don't railroad. I just mentally scream at them. For making... Decisions... That I could have never begun to account for. Oh, also, when you put a lot of work into a special NPC... And they're like... Nah. Nah. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm trying to drop hints, I'm like... Oh, this could... What? Oh, oh... I'm trying to drop hints that, you know, if, they, if you talk to this NPC, you know, like, there's there's a lot of information you could learn that would make your... Would make your experience a lot easier, you might find out where to go next, la da 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 and they're like... I want to go buy a pet! And I'm just sitting there like... <laughs> you want to what? You want to what? We just started! What do you mean you want to go buy a pet? What do you mean you want to go to the pet shop? What's in the pet shop? I don't know! I don't know! I didn't think about pet shops! I don't know! Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Ah! Less is in with the 635. Hope you're feeling better, Pippers. Thank you. <laughs> I go sound saying for $10. I just got back. Right, Muller moved, moved today. Gee, oh. But yeah, I read that one, I think. Right. I had a good dentist and made the... No, wait. So, oh, wait. Somebody else. Oh, yeah. Wow. Two people had molars removed today. But I had a good dentist and it made the process way better. Well, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Matt Mercer says... Oh, God. Oh, I'm thinking about the $5. Imagine if TTRPGs was played like I played video game RPGs. 200 plus hours put into a 60-hour uh, game. Yeah, and only five of those hours are in the actual main story. You're not thinking about the $5. dollars the teeth restoration fund. No, seriously. Start saving, yabbit. Yeah, ah. Heels up. Thank you for the $10. No more soda. Pippa, just drink gamer sops. Oh, hell yeah. Man. I gotta say, d, &D is like the one thing... Sorry, another mini tangent. I just want to say, D&D is like the one thing where even with the social anxiety and the crippling fear of talking to people and everything and the crippling fear of like... Like assuming that you... that you... Like, fuck something up or whatever. D&D is just way better in person. Like having... having played D&D online... D&D is just one of those things where it's like if you're not sharing snackies at the table... If you're not... if you're not showing off your hand-painted minis... It's just... It's just not the same. In-person hits way better. It hits way better. There's a whole ritual to it. There's a whole ritual to it. I remember one time, I had a little panic attack. And I'm just sitting there. I'm sitting there. And I'm like... I'm like... Hiding behind a wall. Like, mid-panic attack. And one of the... One of, one of the people at the table will look at me and they're like, Are you alright? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm fine. I just have to go use the restroom. And so I went and I hid in the restroom and had a panic attack. And then I came back out and I was like, Fuck yeah, can't wait to put more D&D. <laughs> <laughs> it's just worth it for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Paul, thank you for the $20. <laughs> Sorry to hear you were having tooth problems. But next time, can I recommend doing some lines instead of going to the dentist? Lines cured me of lots of things. My sore tooth, my cold, my flu, my job, my marriage. Cocaine? Oh. Probably say it. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, yeah. I might have to. I might have to. I might have to save the super chat list. I should probably call it here. I have. I have something I have to do early tomorrow. I say have to do, but it's not. It's not like I have to, but like. It's not a chore. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You guys will. You guys will hear about it later. But, um. It's not DD, sadly. But. Go to school. Yeah, I'm going to school. I enrolled in college. I decided, you know what I should do with my life? I should quit streaming and I should pursue a degree. Hell yeah. No. 
sometimes it is tempting to like try and get a degree in something just so like I can be like, yeah, I have a degree. So if when I'm when I'm when I'm boring and old and streaming isn't working out for me anymore, I can I can go like have like a normal job. But I don't know about that. That's that that's planning for the future and I'm not very good at that. I don't know, maybe I'll be a streamer for the rest of my fucking life. I don't know! Fuck around and find out. <laughs> I don't know, it ain't worth it now. I don't know. I don't know. So it's, it's the experience to... Let's go, Pippa, thinking about being old. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about living for more than... For more than two years. I don't just assume I'm gonna die in two years anymore. Alright. I'm gonna pick somebody to raid. I'm gonna send you guys off. I actually went 30 minutes over. The super chat list is still extremely long. I keep going on tangents. I'm sorry. I'm happy to be back. Thank you guys for having me back. Thank you for thank you for being here and thank you for not leaving me while I went on a hiatus for a week and not judging me for somebody else or whatever. Okay. I'm gonna raid Orca. She's playing DC Universe Online. That's interesting. I didn't know Urika was in the comic books. Hey, on, and come with me. We're happy to have you back. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um. Um. Oh, hoist anything into yours. I've had a sprained knee before. Leg was on fire. A sprained knee? That's possible? You can sprain your knee? Let's do your thing, brother. See you in five months, then! Is that how long it takes to get a degree? What? Or a thing for the 468. I still think about every single wannabe dictator or if I was in charge person should try DM sometime and realize how people actually work. Yeah, sometimes I look at politicians and I'm like, I don't envy your job. You know what? Maybe I just don't understand what you're doing. I still hate what you're doing. I hate everything you stand for. I hate you. You make terrible decisions. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> if you've got a lot on your plate, I still fucking hate you. But maybe you've got a lot on your plate. <laughs> but if you said they were just like, Pippa, you can take a lot of college classes online now. Yeah, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. And I would get some really useless degree. I'd get a really useless one because I don't... I don't this is just a backup plan. This isn't something I have to do. I don't know what kind of degree I would get. Maybe, maybe... Something that you don't have to... Something that's... Maybe like linguistics. That would be cool. The green linguistics. I always, I always, you can always tell immediately when somebody has a degree in that. Because the way they speak is just fucking, it's like, it's not how I speak. <laughs> it's not how I speak. They're not even using big words. They just manage to make a sentence only like, they make a sentence out of like six words and it conveys like an entire book's worth of knowledge and you're sitting there like, holy shit. How do you do that? Oh god. Linguistics is cool, that's what I'm saying! Take the antibiotics. I need to go take the antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will see you not tomorrow, but the day after. And I look forward to it! I will see you soon! What's a cringe? What's everything to learn about clip arts? Study Japanese? Where are your raps now? I'm not gonna get a degree in Japanese language. <laughs> <laughs>